if a, there's a black slave owner, right? Yeah. I feel like they'd be like, nah. we can overtake this nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, we can, like, 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 that's hey, crazy. The white people aren't going to help you because you're black. <laughs> so we could take him. <laughs> like, a black slave like, owner is crazy. Like, think, like, think about Uncle it, Uncle Ruckus? Bro. Like, real shit. Like, think about it. <laughs> that is- Wait, you're black. You're enslaving us. We could overtake you because the white people really not going to give a fuck about you if we do that. That because, is true. Because you're black. So they probably killed, honestly, they probably was, but they probably didn't last long because they probably, like you said, they probably got overthrown and killed right. because they're like, how are you going to tell me to do my job? You just like me. You just like me. What gives you the privilege? Right. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Reg- Regulars Podcast. Episode number, do you want to guess the episode, Fritz? Uh, i say 160. Gosh, 153. <laughs> yo, why are you so <laughs> yo, off? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. It's like t- 153 only? You was on, you was on like, you was 150. Oh, shit. God damn. Yeah, I tweaked. <laughs> I tweaked, bro. Like, oh, my. It's only I been two weeks. Oh, yeah, I tweaked. I, tweaked. <laughs> I feel like it was mad long ago the last time I've been in the podcast. I don't know why. Dang, bro. It'd but be like it, that. It was recent. Maybe one day know. I'm going to have a pod where it's just y'all to be on the pod. I'm going I'm to take a week off. You don't think, no. <laughs> you don't get no week, so. <laughs> you said I'm going to be a slave, you bro. you be a slave, bro. But we we a slave for y'all people because we like entertaining y'all people. And I guess y'all like watching us. But yeah. if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Share, post notifications if you really mess with us. There's hundreds of people that watch us a week. Why don't y'all got post notifications on? That's what I'm saying. Come yeah, on, people. what y'all doing, bro? Yo, we have to threaten people to get 50 likes. Really? I, I, I hate that we have to do that. But Fritz, what we're going to do, we need... How many likes you want on this video? I want at least 100, bro. At least 100 or what? What's going to happen? Or, damn. Or I'm going to come to your crib. Your crib. While you sleep. You're sleeping. Right? Mm-hmm. Make as much noise as I can. <laughs> I know you got work at 6 o'clock in the morning, bro. I'm going to make as much noise as I can. And I'm going I'm to wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 a.m. Make as much noise as I can, bro, so you don't get no sleep, bro. And then I'm going to set your house on fire. Yeah, and then he sets your house on fire. <laughs> that took a turn, bro. <laughs> I didn't want to make... I was trying to make it as, like, PG PG as possible, but nah. I was about to say, I was, like, going to kick their mother or something, but that's... <laughs> I'm like, damn. I don't hey, know what to say. Because set your saying, house on fire is crazy. Maybe hundreds of y'all that watch, a like is free. A like is free. Hey, like, bro. you guys can't take the time to, like, pre- put your thumb... Wait, pause. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Put your like, thumb where? Put your thumb in the, in, the, in the like button, bro. That's what I wanted to say. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to say that, but that shit sounds crazy. <laughs> to take the time to put your, <laughs> to put your thumb. <laughs> but like, yeah, like the button. Like, you know, press the like button, bro. That's all it is, bro. But we're not going to keep threatening y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go regardless. Shout out to all our sponsors. Shout out to SeatGeek. Use code no regulars if you want $20 off your first purchase with SeatGeek. Any order... Over $50. That's N O R E G U A R S. And shout out to Prize Picks. Use our code No Regulars for 100% back on anything over $100. Any picks or entries for Prize Picks. You guys trying to win? Y'all could flip $100 to get $1,000 with Prize Picks. Just enter your picks, your entries, and you, go get, and you can win money. You know what I'm saying? The MLB playoffs is going on. NBA is about to start up. You know what I'm saying? So use code No Regulars for Prize Picks. Shout out to y'all. And yeah. Follow our Patreon, all that good stuff. We're going to hop right into the podcast with the question. I got a question to ask you, Fritz. We're going right early, bro. Off rip. Off the rip, bro. Would you (laughs) rather... This is great. I thought about this question in the shower, bro. Pause. Okay, you ain't need to tell me that. Why not? Okay, well... I feel like I'm comfortable enough with you to tell you... Nah, you you are comfortable. (laughs) I feel like, yeah, me saying that... uh, I'm sorry, bro. So, would you rather switch bodies with a super thought that needs to have sex every day to live... And you make a hundred thousand dollars a month. <laughs> or, <laughs> super thought. Like what? Never heard no shit like that. Or bro. switch bodies with a pig at a bacon farm. What? So you're basically either like she a, makes only a hundred? A hundred K a month. Oh, a hundred K? You make a hundred K a month, but you have to have sex very often. Nigga, what? I'm the super thought, bro. <laughs> you gonna get or a pig? You gonna get a piped pig down, that, bro? 
Relax. That's let's, not, let's not say it like that. You nah. basically an OnlyFans model. That's fine. Oh, so you gonna be that? Rather than a pick that's going that's gonna die in the next few. So you still have your mind right now. So you're you're in. A, you're I'm just, a pig. At the end of the day, I ain't in a bacon that. bacon farm, you said. Yeah, bacon farm. So I'm gonna die eventually. You are gonna die eventually? I mean, you, we gonna die eventually. But that's a terrible. I mean, no, nah, they might. But I'd rather. Yeah, we gonna die. Eventually. <laughs> but I'd rather be the super thought that's making mad bread for doing what. For having sex. So you gonna be doing <laughs> that's what Bro, you do. It's not it's not sucking me. You you gave me a choice. I'm, I'm letting and you I gave you the decision. Okay, I'm saying I'm going with you. But I'm just saying Yes, I am we we pause, together. Pause. That's uh, crazy. Uh let me think. <laughs> How do I say this? I will do uh nah. I don't know what to say, bro. All right, I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make that money, bro. And if you like, you like every single day, like a new dude comes in. Isn't that like that's crazy, isn't it, bro? But there's people that live their life like that for nah, real. I don't think there's people that live their life like that every day. Every I other think, day, I don't, I don't even think OnlyFans. Might I it might not be in the morning. Day. It might be at night. <laughs> I think every it, day. I think so. There might be somebody. There gotta be somebody. Nah, that's crazy. I work. refuse to believe that every day. A person, there's somebody in the world. Oh, well, not every has, day because you know they have their period and stuff, but like, still, I say, like, nigga, what, what does that have to do anything? I mean, they might, what well, you saying they might run do the red light? That is crazy. There's though. niggas who, there's niggas who be tweaking, bro. That's crazy. You don't think that's great? That's nuts. I mean, that's crazy if it's not your girl. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. You just run it, but there's niggas who, there's some weird niggas out here, bro. Yeah. There's some weird niggas <laughs> some weird, with some weird fetishes. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know what type of just. I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't look surprised, past it. bro. I wouldn't look past it, bro. But I like you don't. You don't think that there's somebody out here that's like our only every fan. day. I was okay. Max every other day. So let's take one day off. Or the, I feel like it's like a nine to five job. Like Monday through five. Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, and then they off and Sunday. Take, take do that. Like take uh take off Sunday. Take off Sunday. Yeah. I think so. I don't think it's too far off. If y'all doing that, like, there's no way that that's just enjoyable anymore. It well, might not I, be. At the end of the day, it's going to be a job. Right? Yeah, it's still a job. So, at the end of the day, bro, like, you're doing that shit for money. It's not even for pleasure anymore, bro. Exactly. That's so, why. I, you know what's crazy? Yeah. I was thinking about the other day. There's somebody on OnlyFans that's making $30 a month that's doing all that. They're posting everything. Wait, what? I'm saying there's somebody. 30? Like th- there's some because there's so many people on OnlyFans. There's somebody that's on OnlyFans that's, that's not making that's not making as much as like they yeah. But they're still but they're trying to so they're but posting you, mad but content. You think you think you know because I, because because the people obviously the people on OnlyFans or whatever the the person that's making the most bread are are the people who are making that like the content crazy content. Oh like, yeah yeah the most erotic content. You feel me? Yeah. So. Or the people so that I feel promote like the people, or the people that promote, like on Twitter and stuff. So I feel like the people who are making, you know, thirty dollars or whatever, whatever the case may be, a month, they're probably just doing like pictures, uh, like you know, you they're so? yeah, because I feel like they don't want to take to that, they don't want to go to that next level and making crazy ass, you know, boy girl video. Now I like feel that. like there's some that's like make, that's that's making those videos, and but they're just not videos. as. Vi- visually appealing, visually appealing right, than the right, other ones right, that are making right. they're making a hundred K a month. Right. Or like fifty. That's O D. I ain't gonna lie. That's messed up. Okay. They're taking advantage of male horniness. Yeah, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie though. I'm gonna be honest. Nah, I don't think I can say this. <laughs> what was you about to say? I don't think I can say this. Wait, how bad is it from a one to ten? Like it's like degrading? Are we degrading? Well, I'm women? not trying to degrade women. <laughs> I know you're not, but I'm just saying. I'm not. Like, I, me, I, I'm not gonna degrade women. Yeah, but like, is that in the third? But is it that bad? I don't think it's that bad. I think it might. You be. don't. You don't gotta say if you don't want. Yeah, that. I don't want that. I, I, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm I not just, gonna say. Like I said, I just. But think, uh, what I what I what I, well, what I will say though. Yeah. I don't think visually appealing mm-hmm. really matters. You don't think so? Niggas, there's some horny niggas. That bro. is true. Now. That is true. I feel like, okay, if you look like like some 
cra- like a witch or some shit like that. I feel <laughs> like I feel like, but there's still niggas out there. Who will find you still attractive yeah, and will pay for that. That's so crazy. That's Real so shit. crazy. I wonder what's the most expensive thing. Like, it has to be like a celebrity on there. They probably, like $1,000 a month. Bro. I know there's I don't a, think, I don't think you, I, don't, I hope there's not anybody in this world. You know there is, bro. That's paying $1,000 a month. You know who it is, too? It's the rich, white, old people. Yeah. That be because you know they, they don't have sex anymore. They don't got sex no more, but because either they divorce their wives or their wives don't want to have sex no more, so they just go by OnlyFans accounts. They beat, they meet. Right. They take yeah. a rhino pill, beat, they meet. The, the thing is though, I don't think there's anyone in OnlyFans that does a thousand dollars a month or whatever because I feel like nobody's gonna buy that. I feel like not only, I, I'm bro, honestly, bro, like isn't there a limit to how much you could pay? Uh, I think you don't so. Think there's a limit. I mean, like a thousand dollars a month is crazy because because but on the DMs, there are girls because yo I seen one thing, bro. There are girls who will. You know, they pay the monthly, right? Yeah. But certain, you know, there's something called paywalls. You feel me? What's that? That's paywall. Like... So like they have like I guess exclusive videos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Exclusive videos that are not you know in the on the on the the on main the, page. The main page, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they I think they could put that like however money they you know oh want for that they want for that. So like they could put like oh yeah you could get this vid for a thousand dollars. Oh, I feel like that's where these niggas will pay that thousand oh. dollars. Bro, I seen a video, bro. <laughs> this nigga paid an OnlyFans model like three thousand dollars for a video. Not even for yeah, I think it was either for a video or just to talk to this nigga, bro. That happens a lot too. I ain't gonna lie. It, it's so sad. That's crazy. It's so sad. There's there's literally people out here in this world that will pay girls just to talk to just them. for company. I, like you know, what I mean, people go to the strip clubs and they'll just go into the private room and they just, yeah, they just want to talk. They just want to talk. That's crazy work. I don't know if that's like a mental thing. It got like it, you guys are like mentally like not there. Like that got to be like a social thing. It, you think so, bro? It, because but, like, who, what if they need just somebody to talk to? But like, and they're going through shit. Like who, you don't have okay. Maybe they just like that means they like I don't understand. Like you were really just here alone. Like you don't got no you got you don't have no coworkers you don't got no friends like why you just resort they, to strippers and prostitutes I, I guess they feel like because they don't know the strippers and prostitutes oh so or never like, come back to them they, or something they, like that I guess they never come back. like they could tell them some shit and and not not only that too like there's there's things called therapy there's people <laughs> yeah but I don't know I don't know I don't <laughs> like, know what, why people pay for company bro it's just weird to me like maybe they don't want like people knowing like people that are in their lives like literally in their lives that they see every day knowing what's going on with their life you know what maybe it is you know they probably don't want to be judged and right so- right and you know people might have their own opinions and shit like yeah. that and i guess if if it's like a stripper sure, they're like, like i can't judge you they can't judge you i'm judged yeah, myself yeah, exactly so i guess right? that makes sense right 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 but right. that is so nuts yeah yeah, pay and they they'll play pay top dollar, bro. Top dollar. Top dollar for that. For a for a picture for a video and like I told you, I don't know if I don't know if I told you, but I think I said on the podcast. Me and Jay went to Jamaica two three years ago, and the first place that we went at there was a there was an old guy and a Jamaican girl. Like the guy had to have been seventy, and the girl had to have been like our age. And I was like, I know, like he a sugar daddy, bro. Definitely. They were smoking weed in the hot tub. They were, it was like me and Jay here. They was like sitting like right where you are. Right. Like he was just like feeling on her, smoking weed, and like she was from Jamaica. Mm. I was like, oh yeah, I know. She just want a bag, bro. She yeah. want to be in the will when that's this guy that, die. That's how that shit go, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, it happens a lot. You I ain't gotta lie. get it how you get it, and I respect it. Mm-hmm. But it's like, like I, I I respect the girl getting it out to get it. I don't respect the nigga that's letting that shit happen. Bro. Like I think a lot of the girls, a lot of girls take advantage of like older guys because they know they're gonna die soon. They know they're gonna die soon, and they probably know like the older guys literally like have no like Nobody I knows. wouldn't say no one to talk to, but like they don't really have anybody. Like they're old. They're like Most, they've yeah. been through a lot. A lot. They've been through like already divorces and just like that mm-hmm. or whatever so maybe they wife passed away they wife passed away. or like the older guys are 
more attracted to younger women. Like that is true. Literally, like older guys, they are younger, like attracted to younger. That women. is true. That's really what it is. But like, it's crazy, yeah, yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I didn't realize it happened a lot. Like I remember Jay's dad tells me, like told me a story about, like I guess they boss. It was a similar situation, but they had to like fix it. I don't know if I can. T I'm not gonna talk about it on here, but it was like same situation. Like older guy, younger woman, pass away. She got everything. Something like that. Mm. But it's crazy. Hey, fellas, you got to be careful who you marry and who you have kids with in this world, bro. Because you got to keep that in mind. But I got another question to ask you, Fritz. So would you rather make 20000 a year in, two in 1824? So you're making twenty k a year. That's mad bread. That might. Or make 20000 a year now. Let me look at I'm going to look at it for you. Twenty k back then. That has to be in the millions, isn't it? It has to be. Hold on. 20,000. I hate this iPad sometimes. 18, though? <laughs> yeah, I know. So slavery times? Yep. So it was worth. You were, you're you're going to be making $498,000 a year. Mm. So half a million dollars. But to them, that's still a lot. They were making like quarters, bro. You're right. So no, to them, that's. Nigga. Nigga, to us, that's a lot. That's a lot of exactly half a million dollars a year. Right. <laughs> Shoot, I'm I ain't gonna lie. I'm taking that bread. I'm going Nigga, back. Nigga, you going back there? I'm going back. I don't care. The thing bro. is, though, think about it. What are you spending that on? I'm buying so much land, right? And I'm going to. No, nah, I'm not going. I was gonna say free. I, I can't. I'm not gonna try to be an outlaw like Django and free people, free the slaves. I'm gonna try a little bit. I might buy a couple of them. Right. But I'm a I'm a just I'm just gonna try buy as much land as I possibly can. Okay. And like hopefully, you know, you know, make a town or whatever and like have my kids set up. Because twenty thousand dollars now a year is literally nothing. No, it's pennies, bro. That is like making five dollars an hour. You're making shit, bro. You know, you know what I'm <laughs> like that's horrible. Yeah, you back that, it up. That's like two hundred dollars a week. Yeah. So I'd rather go back then. And even though I don't got nothing to spend it on. Like you have nothing. I, I can figure out something, but dang, I, I might. They might like create a riot against me. I don't know, bro. Because at the end of the day, bro, you are a black man. That's I know I'm a black in, in, in 1800s. That's making more money than, than a white are. man. That is crazy. They will. They will. They will hunt me down. They'll hunt you down, bro. <laughs> it's over with. It's over with. Unless you got. That's I don't know. I, I I don't know. Now, if you were a white man that's doing that, cool. <laughs> like, cool. Making mad bread like that, cool. But I feel like once once that happens, like, when once, you know, a black man is making more money than they are in that era of racism. I know. That's, like, peak. That's peak, That's bro. peak so racism. It's like, I don't think you're, I don't think you're making that out of there alive. I think, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my money. I'm going to round up as much people as I possibly can. Slaves, trustworthy white people, uh, uh, Native like, Americans. Trust, what do you think is trustworthy white people back in the day, though? Like, how can you even tell who's trustworthy back in the day? That is... I think there's... I feel like there's some, like, slave owners that was kind of nice. Like, they weren't, like, pretty No, harsh. yeah, they wasn't as harsh as they were, but at the end of the day, they care... I feel Ooh, like wait. they will care about what other people, like the other people would think mm -hmm. more than what you think. You, you know how I'm going to get? I'm going to get the white people that couldn't afford slaves. Because do you think, do you think every white person had a slave? No. That's what I'm saying. I don't think every white person had a slave. I no, mean, but they make it seem like everybody was, a, like every person had a, their own slave. No, I don't think every white person had their own slave. It was I, mostly. There were still poor. I feel like there were still poor white people. Yeah, there were still poor white people. So I might just pick but, them up. But. They were racist. They were still racist. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. You had to own the slave to be racist. No, they were still. They they still had their opinion. About That's crazy them. how they racist you. You in the same boat as me. Yeah, they, you like, might as well work my job. Yeah, they're in the same boat, <laughs> but they don't got the same color as you. Said. So so at the end of the day, they still had their own opinion about you. That. Dang, bro, that generation. makes no sense. So I in 1800s, I would not trust no 
White person, bro. No white person? No white person. How about a native? I might get some Native Americans. Might get some Native Americans because they don't even like, they don't like. They don't like, they don't like nobody. Yeah, they don't like, they don't like niggas as, as, well, they don't like white people as much as we, well, wait, wait, hold on, bro. Let me try to, I love, I like white people now, bro. Yeah, you just, oh, just as much as me. Yeah, like as much as me, like, nah, that's crazy. I'm talking about in the 1800s, you know, them niggas being (laughs) being racist to me. But like, yeah, I mean, I, I would I would not trust no white person. Bro. So wait, what what would you do though? It'd still be hard trusting the slaves. I mean, yeah. Because I because they probably wouldn't trust me, honestly. But if I give them some bread. Because I feel like, yeah, they wouldn't trust you neither. But like it's like I feel like they were they were really afraid of the white people, bro. Yeah. Like how like yeah. But I feel like there's only one like if a, there's a black slave owner, right? Yeah. I feel like they'd be like, nah. we can overtake this nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, we can, like, 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 that's wait, crazy. The white people aren't going to help you because you're black. <laughs> <laughs> so we could take him. <laughs> like, a black slave like, owner is crazy. Like, think, like, think about Uncle it, Uncle Ruckus? Like, real shit. Like, think <laughs> about it. That is- wait, you're black. You're enslaving us. And... Y- we're not gonna have. We we could overtake you because the white people really not gonna give a fuck about you if we do that. That because, is true because you're black. So they probably killed. Honestly, they probably was, but they probably didn't last long because they probably, like you said, they probably got overthrown and killed right. because they're like, "How are you gonna tell me to do my job? You just like me. You just like me. What gives you the privilege? Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Basically, bro. They gonna hit on me. I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm trying yeah, to give y'all jobs. But yeah, but yeah, they gonna they gonna think about that. But That's, I don't know. I don't think they gonna think about that. They gonna be like, yeah, I'm trying to give. Ah, bro. Nah, you should be in my boat. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, be, like, you got the same color as I do. You should be out here with you me. Be out here with me. Oh, That's it. crazy. That's how they gonna, and you know, I guess back in the day, you know, white people was so like they they was. So I, together, yeah, yeah, they yeah. was mad together. They was rate all races together. Yeah. So they it, one if they had a problem with one white person, they had a problem with all of them. That is true. You know what I mean? That is true. So I feel like that. That's crazy. That work. wouldn't work so, out. Like, so would you do that? So what? So which one would you pick? Mm. So like, you can't make no other bread. Like, you only make twenty thousand a year for the rest of your life. If you pick here, I don't think I'll go back in the day, bro. You don't think so? You just gonna thug it out out here? I think I'm gonna thug it out out here. How like, much is try to like try to make a living out of it? But I can't. I don't even know, <laughs> bro. That's twenty, k bro. You're not. That's literally less than a thousand dollars a week. Right. Like that's like like five hundred a week. Maybe we could try to find a studio, like. Bro, like you have to live in like, you have to move somewhere. Like you can move to, like Japan. Like you can move to like the Philippines, like the the cribs are kind of cheap. Right. Like you can move to like Vietnam, but like if you, you want to go to Vietnam, I don't go to Vietnam. it's hot as hell over there, bro. I'd go to Japan. Japan's cool. Japan is. Cool. I feel like I want to go to Japan too. I, I, I definitely want to go to Japan. I feel like, like Japan. Yo, I feel like a lot of the nations around us are a lot better than us, but we think that be, we're so be, nice. Be for real, bro. Like, they're so be much cleaner. Real, they're so much better, bro. I'm like, dang, we like, like we got New York City. They dirty. Our food dirty. Bro. The food out there, I heard when you eat, like, like fast food in Japan, it's like, you lose weight. Bro. It and you tastes different, bro. It And it's and good it, for you. It's good for you, bro. That's crazy work, bro. bro. They, like, I'm going to be honest, bro. If I could, like, if I knew the language and... Even the language barrier, that's cool. But, like, if I knew about the culture over there, like, and I was able to move over there, bro, I'd, I'd be out of here, bro. Bro, like, it's like, so I, bad. I really like China or Japan. Or oh, China. like the like the Asian countries just and stuff? The, just the, I feel just like it's so much cool. It's so cool, bro. So, it's so cool, bro. I've seen some videos, I said TikTok videos of them just, like, like how clean everything bro, is. How, like, so clean. How, how, like convenient everything convenient and cheap like food is i feel there. like everything like, oh that's really the future like they have vending machines for everything right bro no like, it's damn seems futuristic like, like they can you can have hot food come I out would, the vending machine i want to go there so bad bro i want to go there so bad and like if i had a chance to like move somewhere like out the country bro i probably would like america's so mid bro but i wanted to ask so you think so you know how we always think, like we know about slavery, like in America. Was slavery as bad in other countries? 
Damn, bro. That's a good question. Like, I'm trying to think. Were there black slaves in, like, Asia? I don't think so. I don't think a, I don't think a slave would let a little Asian tell him what to do. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't think... <laughs> That is crazy. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know because I heard a story about a black guy being coming a samurai. I heard about that too. The first samurai the first that was black. black. Samurai, yeah. I heard about that too. I, I didn't. Didn't he? No, he wasn't. I think he, he was. He wasn't a. He wasn't a. Sl- he, he was w- a slave. He was a slave. But, but they didn't enslave him. They, the Japanese didn't. I they think didn't, he didn't. Right. I think he either bought his slave, bought his way out, or he. Escape right. and escape to Japan or something right. like that. And they actually treated him. I would, I would say they treated him a little bit better. I mean, obviously they was like so mesmerized how that his skin was black and like, yeah. They, they was like, oh yeah, they put tar. He put tar in it. It's like yeah, in his skin and shit. Like yeah, they that. was making but fun of him, but like, fun, but like I feel like they were still know, treating him like a normal human being. Like yeah, pretty normal. That's what I'm saying, bro. Asian people are very like respectful people. As nah. long as you give them respect, they're gonna give you respect right back. Like they don't yeah. care what black, white, like they're really like neutral on everything. Nah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a fact. That's a fact. Um, even though they they do be they do be tweaking. They do be tweaking. But like that's if you like go against them in nah, some sometimes, way. Sometimes the I mean I've seen videos where like some Asians be like like they be seeing a black person. And it's like the first time they seen one before. Like, yeah, you know, like, but like, I, I, I don't know if it's like that now. Because it is 2024 and, like, more black people are going to, like, their countries. Yeah, and yeah, like that. yeah. More black people are learning their language. More black people are living there. Uh-huh. I don't know if it's like that now. It was like that in but the 90s. It was definitely like that, yeah, back in, like, early days. Bro. That's how like, my grandmother looked at my dad. Oh, my, really? My grandmother, 410. My oh, yeah. dad, 6'6". Six, six. She said... <laughs> from the project, she was like... She didn't like him at first. Oh, yeah. Until I was born. Yeah. And he's like, oh... Welcome. My, my, my grandfather didn't care. Right. But it was like, it's like, you got to think about it. It's like, they are, they were also like enslaved. Like some of them were slaves. Like Asian people were slaves at that point. Mm-hmm. But they're not, like they don't, they're so far away from everything. They don't really see anybody but themselves. Right. Like, like in China and Asia, there's not really like, they don't live in a diverse country like in like right, America, like America or right, the or right, in like right, Europe. Right. So it's like they don't really see like black people often. Mm-hmm. So they might just look at them like, oh dang, like like I never like seen them before. But that's just how they like. It's just how it is for real. Not yeah, like everybody, I feel like it's yeah. an accident. Like it's not intentional racism. No, it's it's really not. I feel like it's more curiosity. There you go, uh, curiosity. Like, like it's 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 more curious. Yeah, curiosity. Like they they really haven't. They like I'm not trying to be rude, but like, <laughs> shit, not trying, to be rude. <laughs> not trying to be rude. Yeah, but everybody tend to look the same, you know? Yeah, like, they all like, they like they got the same eyes, and they got the they same, the same like, height, height, they... height, and just like that. So it's like, like even if an Asian over there was like mad tall, yeah, or like or like over six foot or some shit mm-hmm. like that, like that would be like, oh shit, that nigga tall, you yeah. know, that nigga tall. Whether they're here, like we be seeing the same, we see a, we a seeing plethora six of people. Foot, yeah, yeah, a plethora of people that that are six foot, like that are like, you feel me? Yeah. But like, um, and it's yeah. also too, they see it on TV a lot. Yeah. So imagine, imagine, right? They don't, they're they're in China, whatever, China, Japan, Philip, whatever, and they're watching hip hop on TV and they talk about guns shooting this, that, and third. Right, right. And then they come to America, they're like, oh, this is what all black people this do. Is what all I black, mean, they, yeah. because they don't see it for themselves. Yeah. They don't realize like, oh, that's that all black people. Like with all, all us Asians, we think every Asian know how to do no, kung fu. Do, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. Every Asian good at math. Yeah, it's, like, ster- it's stereotypical. It's a stereotypical shit. Stuff. And, and and it's like, it's curiosity mixed with stereotypes. Yes. <laughs> stereotypes, basically, bro. So really. It's like, that's how it is, bro. Yeah, it's not. It's not really intentional, bro. Like I feel like it's more. Yeah, it's an accidental. It's, it's I feel like it's accidental. accidental yeah. So. so I really never would, like, if if I would go, to, like, I wouldn't take it to heart. I wouldn't take it to heart. I wouldn't. Right? I wouldn't. I wouldn't would be like. I'll laugh I'm, at it. I mean, yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I wouldn't take it to heart. But like, there be sometimes like there do be like some racist Asian like business owners that be like they don't like they'll like look at the black people a little different because they think they're gonna rob them. But I mean, like, yeah, but that yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. But at that's the end of the day, a, that's the thing too. Like that's what they've seen. It's not like that's they're... what they see on on. That's what that's what they think that we perceive perceive ourselves. Like we, they look at the internet or they look at 
fucking music videos or like rappers or like shit like that. Uh-huh. They see guns. They talk about this that, and third. They talk about whatever. Like that's what they think that, that we are. Like everybody Dude. is, bro. Yeah. Like no that. matter how you look or whatever it is, whatever the case may be. Like they see black people on TV doing that shit. That's just how it they is. They think it's, it's like that in real life. Yes, it's racism. It is racism, but it's not but their it's fault. Also negligent and not negligence, but um, damn, what the fuck? Um, ignorance. I, ignorance. It's yeah, also yeah. ignorance. So yeah. like, you know, it's not they. They don't know no better, bro. That's what I'm saying. They don't really see. They don't see black people often. So when they see it, they just assume it's just not their fault. It's like literally the TV's fault. Honestly, it's literally the TV's fault. And not trying to be. But it's how we portray ourselves. Literally, that's you, can, how it you, is, can, you can't be, you can't be mad at the nigga who sees us on YouTube, on Instagram, or, or TikTok, whatever, they, whatever, or TikTok, and we're tweaking out here. I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> and they, they and they, and the yeah, it, it is like, for example, like cops. Not all cops are bad. Yeah, not all cops is bad. But we, we all group them together because mm-hmm. we seen some cop beat. You know, beat a black dude up. They we all think that they're racist. That's how they think of us. That is true. That is true. They put us all as group, bro. And I also think, like, with cops, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I would never be a cop. Me neither. Because, you know, I be seeing videos. I Okay, I see a lot of videos of cops that pull people over, and the people just start shooting at them. Yeah. That's crazy work. Because, bro, it's a, they, they know they got some shit on them. <laughs> but I'm like, but like, like, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, there's some cops that might be on edge. Like, imagine that happened to you last week. And then you just and got shot you at. Got shot, you got and then you pull somebody you over. Pull them, yeah. And then he goes like this. And then you just yeah, think you, in your you, mind. You're on edge. So it's not like, like yeah. of course, sometimes it is their fault. Yeah. Sometimes it's not their fault. Yeah. Like, it's just, they are they are trained to protect themselves. Yeah, yeah. Also. And they just happen to have a gun on them. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, yeah, let's talk about this. Because there are some cops who are bad. Are bad. And, and are, are Are just racist. On, are just Quick to judge and this down a third. But there's some that. But not. there are some cops that are taking precaution, like precaution. Like at the end of the day, bro, cops are like being a cop is dangerous fucking job. Bro. Even if you, like, like I said, even if you pull somebody over, they can they can have a gun, especially in the have, south. Hell yeah. no, no. Like they could have a gun. No, nope. you. Yeah, Wait, people in the south. Oh, I got guns on them. They don't even need like, a permit. They don't need a permit. They can just have the gun so out there. You crazy? People are taking. They're taking precaution. Like it's uh-huh. like, at the end of the day, bro. As long as you. Like, do as they told and just uh, do what they tell you. you just to gotta do listen. Shit. Do gotta yeah. You gotta just have listen. to listen. And just like because people, I be seeing that those videos all the time. They, how they be resist. Be, oh my god, they be bro. resist. Like, I'm like, they be yo, tweaking, and they be like, "What? Why are you doing this? Why are you, bro?" Because you're, yo, just relax, just like, relax. Just and then relax. they be like, "I right, record them." I go, "You're recording me." But look at look, but that's why it gets me mad because like, okay, they are te- they are arresting this person right here, and they're te- the person is okay. Of course, you want them to be recorded because yeah. just in case something happens. Just happen. in case something happens. Yeah. But you are not cooperating right what do you want them to do that's like if a kid is like fighting back right like you're trying to you're trying to tell a kid like relax like but he's fighting he's literally hitting you a little kid what are you gonna do you're yeah. gonna wrap him up and you're gonna be physical so he's not so he can stop right. like you're gonna grab his arm you could do it it might hurt him but he's not listening right if a woman or a guy is not listening and you're trying to something like, okay you're being arrested and they're like why why you can't and they'd be like you can't arrest me right what are you talking about? Right. That is crazy. Like, now you uh, like, now you are giving them the green light to be like, all right, now I can really beat you up because you're resisting. Well, now you can't. Now nah, yeah, that's crazy. Beat you up is crazy. Beat you up is wild. Not beat yeah, you up. Bad. But do something where it seems like it's going to hurt you because you're not cooperating. Right. And they'd be like, all right, we'll arrest you. Okay, you can arrest me. If you're not innocent, you can go. You're not going to You're not gonna go to jail if you're innocent. Mm-hmm. So if you did something, you make yourself look more not innocent. Yeah, and you, like and you're like, adding charges onto that. Yeah, at the end of the day so, too, like I've seen motherfuckers uh, make a traffic stop turn into a fucking arrest, my nigga. Like, yeah, like, I'm like, like, bro, like just, just relax, like, just relax, just relax. Like a lot of the time, listen, bro, I'm not like the nigga who all yeah, I'm behind cops. Yeah, no, I'm I ain't Tyrone. I, yeah, I'm behind <laughs> cops. Yeah, Tyrone, be doing yeah. Tyrone love cops. A cop. Yeah, bro, I I'm not like that because I've seen. The shit I've, I've seen, seen police brutality. Niggas, yeah, I've seen shit yes. as you all probably did. 
And, you know, I'm not the best, you know, I, it's not, but at the end of the day, bro, you got to respect them too. Like, you got to be like, they are higher in power. Now yes. they might <laughs> use that power uh, the wrong way. The wrong way. But yeah. But at the end of the day, it's how you react to shit. Like, just, yep. just be cool, bro. Like, just be cool. Just be and cautious, then, people. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> just be cool, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I, I'm glad you was talking about cops because I have a thing I want to talk to you about. Remember before? That we were talking about uh, how some of these serial killers in the world that we never found could be cops. Right. I have some evidence to tell you about how they've supposedly found out who the Zodiac killer was. Really? And the evidence points to him being a cop. Right? Of course it is. Because, look, like I said before, it makes sense because as a cop, you are the head of the law. Imagine you're a serial killer and you're a cop. You can cover up your own evidence. Didn't I tell you? But I feel, I'm i sorry to cut oh, no, you you're off, good. Go but ahead. I feel like... They said they said um when I said um when we talk about Jack the Ripper. Oh yeah, they said he was the cop. They said he was the cop that first um That was the first person on scene. That first person on Cause scene. Cuz it makes sense cuz you got think about it. Bro. They imagine imagine they killed this girl and then he's the cop. He just changes real quick and yep. he comes on scene like, "Oh." Yep. Oh, look, I he dropped the knife. Oh. Right. Throw it under the bus. Right. Like it's so easy, especially so easy. Like that, Louis, that's what um freaking Dexter was doing. I don't know yeah. if you ever watched oh, Dexter. Nah, but he was a cop. He was a cop. He was. A, oh no, he was a. Uh, he was either a cop or a forensic surgeon. Oh, okay. So he would kill people, and then they will bring the people that he killed to him. That's crazy. And he'll inspect and be like, "Oh yeah, it was this person." He'll blame it on somebody. Wow. But he was murdering them on the show, bro. <laughs> but so the Zodiac killer, right? So there was a guy on TikTok. And he thinks he's a hundred percent sure his grandfather was a Zodiac killer. His grandfather's name was Richard Hoffman, and he was a cop in the area, whatever. So the evidence that he has behind it was there was one of the killings was a girl named Darlene, and I guess when Darlene got murdered by the Zodiac killer, or whatever, she was with her boyfriend beforehand, and her boyfriend reported that before she got murdered, they were being followed by an unmarked vehicle, and there was supposedly. His grandfather used to ride around in a cop in an unmarked car, uh, cop car in like street clothes. Like, you yeah. know how some car some cops are in like in yeah, the yeah. cop cars. Yeah. So he was one of those cops that was like I want to say undercover, but he was like those type of detectives. Like yeah, he yeah, like he had a he had an unmarked cop car. So that was always check one. Another thing was that supposedly um, Darlene dated a cop in the area, and the cop was supposedly crazy. Like a crazy guy, like she was always afraid of him. She was, he was abusive, this, that, and the third. And she always thought that, like, oh, like he may kill me one day. Mm -hmm. And there was actual, like the, uh, what's his name? It's crazy. I don't know how they didn't link this back to him, but they said that uh, the boyfriend before I guess anything happened, I guess she called or whatever, and he said, oh, Richard Hoffman is gonna kill me, something like that. She said, it she said, like, it was like a, it, a police, uh, like a like a call, like say. I think I forgot something. I think she was nervous or something like that. And I think she said his name, calling her boyfriend after his her boyfriend dropped her off at home after they hung out. And what also happened? So Rich, they they uh, interrogated Richard Hoffman. He was like, none of this happened. And a lot of the stuff that was being told on him was from word of mouth. There was no evidence behind him because they think he tampered everything. Because he was the first cop on scene mm. when she died. Mm. So as soon as she got killed, murdered, he came five minutes later. He was the first one. And he also told a lot of the cops, like, oh, no, no, it's okay. I'll get, I'll, I'll handle this. And he was the only one there. So they think he tampered with everything. And then they, uh, he used to write a lot of poems and letters and stuff. And the grandson read one of the poems and he spells until wrong, like U N T I L. He spells it with two L's. And on the Zodiac Killer, you know, he's most famous for like putting out letters yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. He was very, they try to identify him because he used to spell until wrong. The same exact way. Like, he used to add two L's also. Mm. So that lined up. That's another thing that lined up. And then the last thing was that there was a killing that happened in Nebraska, which Richard Hoffman was from. He was from Nebraska. And it was a girl that was killed in a library. And underneath the desk where she was studying at, she was shot in the library. Or she was either shot in the library or she was shot coming away, coming out of the library. And underneath the desk where she was killed at, it was a, it was a letter and then under the letter, there was a initials that said RF under it. So people think that maybe it was Richard Hoffman. Like, he killed her. And because I think she had, like, when he used to live with her, that was probably, like, his, like, ex-girlfriend or whatever. And even the grandson was saying, like, yeah, his grandfather was a very, like, 
a manipulative person. He was always unfaithful to his grandmother mm. and stuff. He was always a terrible guy. So maybe and like they show pictures of him and they kind of look similar. It looks similar. Yeah, they kind of look similar. Like they show pictures of him back then, uh, when he was younger, and they show pictures when he was uh, older, and they kind of look alike. But like that's what I'm saying. Okay, bro. so the Zodiac Killer. Like I got a question about it. Like mm-hmm. his letters are like what were what were they, what would it consist of? Like what? it was like riddles. It was like riddles. Right? It was like think of like the, I was I was compared to like the Riddler. The Riddler, right? So he will like kill people and then he'll like leave clues to see if the police can like see who it is mm. and but like they can never decode like what it means and they never found it because yo that's what i'm saying there's no way that anybody even even if it was in like the i think it was like in the 80s i don't care how old it was how early ago it was you could still find somebody mm-hmm. that could kill somebody there's nobody that's that nice unless they're really a psychopath or they know the system right like, like you, yeah, can, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you could kill somebody, but that's going to come right back to you. Cause you're always going to, you're going to forget something. So you either need help with it, with help by the police right. or you are the cops. All right. So I don't know. I feel like, like a lot of, a lot of serial killers, like we were talking about before, Ted Bundy was in the freaking police academy. It was. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer was, a uh, was in the military. The military yeah. So they, you either, if you were that much of a killer to like cover up stuff like that or not to be found, you have to either be special forces or you have to know somebody in special forces, like um, some stuff like that. Because there's no way. There's no way in hell that they cannot find you. You have to have somebody on the inside or you are the people on the inside to cover up everything. Yeah, bro. And um, I mean, shit, don't like they just now found out. Well, this guy just now, like he was making doing research or some shit. I guess he found his grandfather's like old like letters and he started he found his old like letters like after he passed away. And then he would look up. He looked up his name on Google and a lot of the things that his name popped up, but he was one of the, he didn't know he was one of the cops that was on that um, on, the scene. on the scene. So it started he started like connecting the dots to it. So I don't know, bro. A lot of yo, it's just weird how. So wait, okay, I got I got a question, bro. Yeah, go ahead. So you're telling me to this day, they have no clue. Them niggas still don't understand the riddles. Nope. Like he's the Riddler type shit. That's he's the little, little Riddler, literally the Riddler, and they don't know. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make no sense. There has to be. You think? You think? Nah, there's no way that these niggas in 2024 they have them niggas still didn't know who the Zodiac killer, kill, killer was. Bro, it's really, it's really crazy because, like I said, and today's technology and today how smart have we've become? We can literally pinpoint who it is, how it right. is. Right. But it's just like, I feel like, like I said, if it was him and he was a cop, he probably took away a lot of evidence to make a point towards him. So it's just like, we will probably go to a certain area and then we'll get stuck because it's like the leads are gone. Mm. So it's just impossible. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, if, like, the, like imagine, like, like, the, like, like I said, the cop, the, the police system, they're all corrupt anyways. Yeah, they are. There's, there's certain places that's really bad. Right. So just imagine, they do they can kill, murder people, do all this stuff, and they can cover up themselves because they're the people that's investigating. Mm. Imagine you're the killer investigating, your, and you're your a cop, own, your, own, your own, murder. own murder. Right. That's so easy. But that's light. You just be like, yeah, I think it's this, that, and third. And they will never suspect you. So I'm saying, but everything in this world is all about uh, misdirection, bro. Mm. All the... Se- if, as long as you just... There's always the secrets. The truth is right in front of you, but they just misguide you for everything. Yeah, it's so easy, bro. Damn, that's just that's probably the biggest. That'll be the biggest plot twist in so the 21st century, bro. Do you think they bro. did? They do you think they did find out? But since he was a cop, the, they they didn't the want to make it seem like probably. You feel me? Probably because I feel like they've been found out. But I feel like the cops, you know, the cops are with the government type shit. Yeah. They want to, they will tell you, like, they're like, that nigga probably dead already. Mm-hmm. That nigga been dead already. Like, what's the point of even telling the public or something like that? Yeah, and they just But we know what him. happened. Oh, of course. Oh, he was a cop. Oh, damn. Now, now they're looking at us as, you know, niggas who- Are killer. Tweak, killer. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah. you got to think about it. If that comes out that he was a cop, nobody, nobody will ever trust, trust. Yep. the police again. Yeah. So that's why they can't. You can't say nothing, and that's what's. That's like, crazy. Yeah, I feel like this case has already been solved, but they just don't want to. Like, what's the point of telling to the public? They probably know they already. They already know the nigga's dead. Mm-hmm. They know he's a cop, so that's just bad reputation on them. Mm-hmm. They're like, 
So they're like, why? What's the point of telling people? That's There's what no I'm point. saying. There's it's, literally no point. The, you know how many stuff they probably sweeped under the rug. Like I feel like. I think they're there's so many like unsolved things rub, yeah. like you ever heard of like the the db db cooper case you ever heard of that damn that that rem- yeah I, i've heard of it bro it was a it was a case about i think there was a it was like i don't know if it was a government officiated plane or it was a rent it was a regular plane it was either oh, that the nigga that, that jumped off the plane he jumped out the plane with right. all that bread and he couldn't find him right you telling me he you can't find a man with two hundred thousand dollars yeah that's what I'm saying. He either, that he, there's first of all, he has to be special forces. There's no way nobody somebody's jumping out of a plane and they go undetected. There's no way. He literally did a heist mm. like in freaking GTA. GTA. Like he literally did a whole heist literally. and nobody found him. There's no way you you can't tell me he's not like in the he used to be in the military. He had to no no normal person like me and you was going to do that. No. Hell, yo what? You crazy as hell. There's no way. So I think he probably was either like in the CIA or something like that. He just wanted to do this one last thing before he died. Mm-hmm. And then he stole, I think it was like two, 250K, like mm-hmm. a quarter million dollars. That was back in the day. Too. That was back so in the day. That was like in the 70s. Celebrate. He jumped out the plane, landed in the jungle, or whatever. They couldn't even find cuz. That's crazy as hell. There's no way. Right. He probably, yo, he covered up his own mess, bro. But uh, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of weird things that if go you on. Be a ser- <laughs> if you want to be a serial killer, guys, become a cop. Imagine there's a serial killer watching this right now, just watching this pod. Yeah, that's crazy. That's weird. That's weird so, as fuck. Like somebody just no, turn that do- off, bro. Yeah, no, don't watch this. I don't Shut like. Up, I, don't, bro. I don't like you, bro. It's like, <laughs> like, I don't like you. It's crazy. It's like that, bro. <laughs> but um, oh, I got a, I got a question I can ask you before we go into one of the questions they asked us on the Q and A's. So, if you were indestructible for a day for 24 hours, like I'm talking about, nobody could hurt you, nothing could hurt you, no buzz, nothing. You are indestructible. You can never get hurt for 24 hours. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you think is the first thing you'll do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to try to make a profit off of it. That's what I'm saying. But it's only 24 hours. So if some nigga is literally <laughs> like, hey, yo, that's a nigga. That's a nigga that's indestructible. Try to shoot me. Yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. After, after 24, after I made all that bread. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn. Yeah, no. Nah. That's I, I don't know if I can make a profit. I, I, the thing is, though, I, I can't make it public. You Ooh, can't make it public. Yes, you can. Look, I got you. Oh, uh, boy. Look, I got you. I got you. With the, I, I literally just thought of a great plan, right? So, I, I recently watched the video of a guy. He was doing, um, it's like a, it's like, it's like, it's like hang gliding. He was hang gliding, but they didn't strap him onto a free. He didn't. They didn't strap him onto the glider. So it was him and the guide. So the guy was literally holding on to the guide while he was while they were flying. So if you would have let go, he would have fell. Mm. So if I was indestructible, I'm going either on like a. I'm signing up to either do skydiving or something like that, and I'm just gonna jump out. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Ju- <laughs> I'm gonna jump out and fall. And then I'm going to live. And then they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, he's the first person to jump out of the plane to live. Let me go on the, like, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. Then I'm going to go on the news. Uh, they're gonna, they, I'm going to be like, oh, they're going to they gonna test me. I'm like, now nah, you got to pay me for that. And I'm going to sue the company because I'm going to say that they didn't, they didn't strap me in. Uh, now I'm going to get millions of dollars from them. That's, that's pretty funny. And then I can keep going on podcasts and be like, yeah, I'll, them, I'll go on Joe Rogan podcast. That, I'll be like, yeah, them man. Niggas, yo, them niggas. I don't know, bro. You think, bro? I'm telling because you. Think, no, think <laughs> about it, bro. You were skydiving. Yeah. You're not living that. No human person. But I'm is indestructible. That. Yeah. No, I understand. No, you know you are. Yeah. For 24 hours. It's a miracle. No, I don't think that's a miracle, <laughs> gang. Really? Them, them niggas will say that is impossible. <laughs> impossible. No, 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 because there was a. There was, but shit broke her fall. Oh, you remember that? Yes. <laughs> I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> I, I watched it. it like this, bro. I know already. <laughs> shit broke her fall. I think she 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 uh, she was like spinning on, on yeah, the or some shit and uh she fell in a tree. It yeah. broke her fall. Bro, you're not if it's <laughs> face planted, bro, there's no fucking <laughs> Bro, it's by, but no look, way. I can just say like it was just a miracle. I got hit by a gust of wind and it slowed me down. Like a gust, like, I shoo. guess, bro. I guess, but and, I'm a, yeah. You could always be like, man, I don't know, bro. I, 
I blacked out, bro. I don't know what happened. Is that in a third? You I'll be the greatest that. mystery because you think will, about it. After 24 mystery. hours, they're going to try to test me. They're going to be like, nah, he an alien. Don't they test it. me. I'm normal. Like, what are you going to say now? And I'm going to be going, I'm going on Joe Rogan podcast. I'm going uh, Logan Paul podcast. They're going to pay me bread. Yeah. I'm going to be up. Nah, you will. And then I'll be like, dang. And, and just for that, I'll want to just try it. They like, see it. And I'm going to land like a superhero. <laughs> like the Hulk. <laughs> I'm going to land just like that superhero landing, bro. Just like, like that, that, yeah. Like, and, and look up. Yep, and it, but nobody, nobody can see me though. I'm gonna make sure I'm, like, I'm like in the jungle or something because right. I'd be wild. They're gonna be like, the hell, right. <laughs> yo. I mean, yeah, I'll probably do the same. That's thing. clean. I was I'd thinking about good. robbing a bank, but I'm like, I'm gonna go nah, to jail. Robin, yeah, you're going to jail <laughs> like, after. Robin like, words, nah, of course, robbing I, a bank is the worst thing you probably could do. <laughs> Literally, the people that rob banks are so stupid. I swear to God, bro. Literally, the way now there's, there's some <laughs> niggas who like been be doing that shit. Like, I mean, now it's cyber. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, niggas don't really rob banks like that because though. everything's online now. So you yeah. can just like they'll just hire the people from India and then just be like, yo, just pretend you're the bank and just like tell them to send you. You know they do they do that with a lot of old people. What? Yeah, scam shit. Yeah, that's so messed up. Like yeah. you ever watch that movie, The Beekeeper? Mm-mm. That's how that's how, it's like it's like John Wick. But, like, that's how it started. Like, it was, like, a woman, like, she literally, she had, like, $2 million in a bank account, and she got scammed. Mm. And then she freaking, like, then it, then it just went downhill from there. But, like, they go for old people that don't know no better. They'd be like, oh, yeah, this is your health insurance. Just give us your bank account, this, that, and mm. third. Give them the bank account. Cooked. Mm-hmm. Like, that's so evil. But That is pretty fucking evil. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, be, nope. I be watching uh, YouTube videos of a guy who literally hacks into the... Hack it, hacks into like the people with scams. Really? So, like yeah. So like, he will like act like he's a customer or whatever needs something done. Yeah. Their scam call. He hacks into their webcams and shit like that. He sees the scammers. Oh, and he takes pictures and of them. He and takes stuff? pictures of them. Send it to like FBI, the police? Your police. Wow. Yeah. yeah so he yeah, he's that's yeah. crazy. And yeah. You know what's crazy? A lot of those people they're like people that live in Miami. A lot of people that live in Miami. Like they be in other countries. Oh well, it'll be in, it'll be I've in other countries. Some in Nigeria. What they India. do is they outsource. Mm. So they'll like they'll live in Miami, but they'll they have a company in like India, Nigeria, oh, okay. Pakistan, okay. and they have them do all the work, all the, yeah. and they just take the bread. Right, like right, think right. about like those dudes that be in Miami. That's like they like you know the the typical scammer dudes. Right. Like some of them might be scamming like the banks, but some of them might be like scamming the old people. Right. Like so, I wouldn't be I wouldn't look past it. Like I, like in the movie, that's what it looked like. A lot of the dudes like look like they was like they lived in Miami and stuff. Mm. So I would like that's crazy work. Like I don't think nobody's actually going into a bank and be like, give me your money. Like I don't nah, even think they, banks I have a lot of bread for real no more. Nah, they they don't do that shit no more, bro. Like it's like they don't keep. I don't think they keep fucking money and safes no more. Like nah, I don't think like, like, that shit. Not they don't have yeah, no gold it's all bricks. Digi- yeah, it's all digital and shit like that. But yeah, it's all like all in it. On computers, mm-hmm. shit like that. I heard there was like a, a bank robber like in the two early two thousands who they couldn't. I mean, they do got um, what the oh the ATMs? Yeah, they do got shit in the register. But like how? But like, like the ATMs though, or like the oh well the you can get the registers, but I feel like it's so it's so not smart because there's so many cameras and yeah, facial recognition. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's just not a good idea. And like back then, the ATMs were like like you can like. Say you like break into the bank, you just take the ATM. Like now, that junk is like built into the building, mm. so it's like you have to like physically tie it up tie, and like yeah. drag it out. Like that's right. so dumb. Like I remember, like people, like that's when when you whenever I see somebody that's like either robbing a bank or robbing a store, I know they down bad, bad that they couldn't even think of a new idea to get bread. Like you ever you ever seen that one guy that went into the Apple store and just took all the phones and put it in his pants? No, you didn't see that. Right. He was literally in the store, had a mask on, and he was just like this. Just ripping all the ripping every phone out and putting it in his pants, and nobody stopped him because they knew he, they was, he was gonna get arrested. He had a, he took at least like thirty phones. What? Yeah, but like there was like there was recording him, but he was just doing. He was just like, okay, taking off the charges. Like nah, I've never seen. No but like, like, what that. are you going to do with those phones? You can't sell Probably it to sell. nobody. But like, who are you that's gonna? Scam, that's scamming. That's what, but like those phones don't work. You gotta activate them, don't you? Yeah. So like, if you sell it to somebody, like they still got the tag on got it. A, yeah, tag on it and shit. Like they don't know it's not gonna work and shit like that. But I don't know. People would just be doing dumb ass shit. They be that down bad. You know, like the people that be low key getting away with it. I'm not saying y'all kids should do it, but like the kids, the people that they be they be robbing the retail stores, like Nike stores. They'll, they'll like they'll ram their car into it, and then they'll break in, 
and they'll take like all the stuff. You ever seen, you never seen that thing when they rob like the Gucci stores and stuff? They ran their car into it. Like they'll they'll ran their car into the door to open the like the glass. It'll be like glass doors. They'll ran their car through it. They back up and then people will come in. They'll take like all the shirts, all the shoes, and they just dip all in the car. That's crazy, bro. They used to do the bro. I ain't gonna lie. There was a time period where they used to like raid like stores. Like um, it wasn't like. Nike, it was like somewhere Nike, somewhere Gucci, but there were a lot of um resale stores. So the people that that like resold like uh like Supreme, mm-hmm. stuff like that, mm-hmm. they and like uh Jordan, they were like they'll be like 20 deep, run in there, steal everything, take everything out the thing, just run out in cars. Car. Yeah. That's crazy work, bro. That is crazy. Like come niggas on. do not care. They don't care, but like I don't know, like I I don't know, I, I don't know why they're fearless. Like that niggas <laughs> they're yo, fearless, that is bro. Crazy. I'm seen, too scared. I've seen niggas that, that like rob wig stores. You said what what's that? Wig stores? Like wigs, like Oh like, wigs, like, wigs. Like, like that's mad dumb. Why like, the hell would like, you because like the hair I, stores? Not hair stores, like, oh, like type shit like with some expensive weave type shit. Like, oh, and yeah, they sell like it? Niggas, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. It. That's actually kinda I'm not saying that's smart. But that's like not smart. That's not but, smart at all. But like, you know, that's a little better. I guess you can resell that more, but I don't know. That's that's crazy work, bro. But oh, I got another question. This is one of the I'm gonna flip the subject a little bit, people. This is the this is one of the questions that they asked on our Q and A. But before that, we got a commercial break for y'all people. We'll be right back. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S. All caps at checkout will save you twenty dollars on your first purchase with SeatGeek of over fifty dollars. Think about it, people. That's twenty dollars. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over seventy thousand events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over twenty eight million downloads. Twenty eight million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers. They have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to SeatGeek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, SeatGeek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get, we different than regular NOREGULARS. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. We back, yo. <laughs> but... So somebody on our uh, polls on Instagram. So if y'all follow us on Instagram, we do polls at least once a week, once or twice a week, once every two weeks to, you know, have you guys ask us some questions and some topics to talk about on the podcast. So one of the questions that we had was, do you guys think, and if you guys do think, what prehistoric animal has a chance to still be alive today? What prehistoric animal has what prehistoric a animal to be alive today? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think there's any that's like on the surface. If there was a prehistoric yeah, it's animal, gonna be in the water. it's gonna be in the water. Right. I don't think it's gonna be like some. I don't think it's gonna be like no megalodon or nothing like that. But you know what? I would think it would be. I would think it would be like, you know, those uh, dinosaurs with the long. Like, it was like it had the long necks and it had the flippers that that they said it was the Loch. Oh yeah, the Loch Ness monster. I think that would. That, you you think so? I think something like that could be real. Because I'm not gonna lie, it's like. Uh, the, so the Loch Ness monster. Everybody believe thought about the, what uh, believed in the Loch Ness monster. That if y'all go to that lake, that lake is like an ocean. Like that that junk is huge. Mm-hmm. So there could be something living in there that nobody ever seen or whatever. And there's also a lot of people in the Congo that said they seen something similar to that, like swimming throughout like the the swamps and stuff. Which, of course, is probably not possible. But just imagine. Imagine there's only one in the world. You're not going to really see it for real. Bro, honestly, bro, I've always said this, bro. Bro, we not going to know everything that's in the waters, bro. Yeah, not the waters. Maybe on land. Yeah, definitely. In land, cool. Maybe. But But the water? Waters, we not going to know everything that's in the water. Bro, bro. there's so much. There's too much. It's just too much. And we already find new species every day. They found a new, yo, they found a new species of like fish. Oh, it's like a, it's like a octopus, but it's like mad, like. Like, the tentacles are, like, skinny and, like, long. Like, they're, like, as long as, like, a football field. And they huh? say, yeah, like, it's, like, it's, like, a, think of, like, it looked like, it looked like a clear algae, but it's a fish. Like, it's an actual living organism, and it's, like, poisonous. Like, if you touch it, you're dead. What? Yeah, like, they just found it in the ocean. Like, it's, like, in all bodies of water, supposedly. 
Like it just looked like just think of like a like you know worms. It looked like a big like a like a thing with like worms as tentacles, and it's just it's like but it's like it's not fat. Like it's not like a big fat tentacle. It's just mad skinny. So like it just looks like like a like worms in the water, but it's like long. Day, bro. That's what I'm saying. They find new stuff every day, so I wouldn't be look past it that there is like a little like a dinosaur in the freaking ocean, especially eating. Like the algae and stuff, I don't think it'll be like a meat eater because I feel like they'll eat up all nah, the food. It wouldn't be a meat eater. It'll be something that'll eat like grass or like algae or like shrimp, something like that. Something that eats the same thing that the whales eat. The whales eat, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised because you know whales is huge and all they do is eat shrimp. Right. So imagine, yo, them things is ba- them things is a hundred feet long eating them little ass shrimp. Mm. There's a lot of shrimp to yeah. go around. <laughs> so I'm just saying that just od shrimp and plankton. <laughs> that junk is crazy, bro. Like I never like. Bro, you ever watch? I think in the Olympics there was a freaking uh a whale breaching when they was doing the surfing. Mm-hmm. I'll be scared. I wouldn't want to go out there. There was a whale breaching. Yeah, like there was a there was surfing. I think they went back and then and a whale came up like over what? on the waves. I was like, nah, I'm not going. To- Fuck no, I'm nah. not getting back in that water. Nah, bro. I'm not going in there, bro. Them whale whale scare me, bro. Like nah, I'm at- whale scare me too. I ain't gonna lie. Even though they're not because, gonna do nothing. Yeah, but you got to think about it too, though. Like. That'd be the biggest they animal I've ever seen. They accidentally swallow oh, yeah. you. Like, they can, but, like, their mouths is, like, as big as a... Like, their throat is as big as, like, a basketball. So, you're not even going to fit. You, but you might get crushed, though. Their throat is as big as a basketball? Yeah, like, it's not that big. That's why they can only eat um, That's plankton. why they could only be, eat little ass shit like mm-hmm. that? But they could crush you, though. I ain't going to lie. Like, it could crush you. Mm-hmm. Like, I seen a video of a of a freaking whale. Like, it, like, I guess the krill and the stuff came up, and there was people in a kayak... And the thing came up and it ate the people. What? Yeah, but like it, they, it spit them back out because it's like, what the hell is this? Yeah. But I'm like, yo, imagine you just sitting in a kayak and you just see, like, whenever a whale's about to come up or about to eat, you see like the the plankton and the shrimp jumping out the water. Like it's like you know when like oil is like bubbling like that, mm-hmm. it's crackling. That's what it looked like. So it happened, and then you just see like a shoot, like the the thing came up and it just closed his mouth, and they're like, oh no, nah. they was trying to open the thing back up, but I don't think it fully closed. But like there was like. Still in his mouth, right? But like, that junk is crazy. That's, like, that shit on TikTok. That shit on yeah, TikTok. if you see it on TikTok, you probably see it. Oh, but that junk was OD, bro. I was like, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna mess with none of that. I'm cool. Nah, I don't fuck with whales, bro. I don't mess I don't with fuck whales. With water, honestly. You know what? I'm not gonna be mess- messing with either, bro. I seen that's like huge. I seen an orangutan. Oh that, yeah. You seen that? That was as big yeah, as the yeah. house, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Those are orangutan, bro. I'm gonna show. You. Let me see. I got TikTok. Big as a what? Though, as a crib, bro, like, you know, they was in, like, Asia. You know, like, them little huts? There was an orangutan that was just as big as them little huts, bro. I got to see it, bro. Hold on, let me see. I got to see it to, bro, to believe it, I was bro. like, nah. Wait, let me see. I seen it. I was like, there's no way this is real, bro. Orangutan. Bro, look how big that thing is. You see that? Nah, that's a joke. Nah, bro. Nah, that's not real. People, I'm going to put it up here, but look. this. What? Bro, look at that. That thing is as big as the that's crib. That's a joke, bro. No, that's not. Look, watch it, bro. That's not real, bro. What you mean that's not real? That's a whole monkey. That thing is big as hell. Like, I can imagine people think that's big for though. Like, like look at that, bro. Yo. <laughs> nah, tell me. If you, wa- you, you driving by to your crib, you see that outside your crib. I'm out of here. Yo, that <laughs> is real life King Kong. Bro. That thing, yo, people, I ain't gonna lie, that thing had to be, like, 15 feet tall and wide. And, you know, orangutan's scary looking, bro. Yeah, they already look crazy. They got the flat they face. They got the long arms. Long arms. Nah. I'm cool off oh, that, bro. over. I'm cool off that, bro. I'm not, I'm not doing that. That's that's something I'm not messing with. Like, what am I doing? Like, that's outside my crib. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Say shoe? Like, nah. Like, niggas only, niggas is taking videos. Man. I'm bro, running, bro. I'm out of here. Like, nah, that's too scary, bro. Yo, why don't we see shit like that over here, bro? What, orangutans? No. What, like, like big animals? Big ass, like. I feel like people I'd see be, them. I'd be, I'd be fucking. I people, people probably see them, but then they, they don't believe them because they'd be like, oh, they seen Bigfoot. Oh, they seen a werewolf. Bro, I think, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like there's a thing called people. See like werewolves and like there's a thing called like dog man out in like the Appalachian woods in the woods. I think that might be kind of real because dog man. there's a thing I seen a picture. I was watching it today. Like uh there was a zoo in Texas that there was um it was at night and they looked through the cameras and they seen a picture of like a a freaking man with a dog head. Like let me let me show you a picture of it. I'm like, what is like it look OD. And I remember I know uh let me see. 
Amarillo Zoo. Oh shoot, I pressed the wrong one. Like it was like like uh it was outside the fence, but it was walking, but it had the head of like a wolf. Uh, let me see this. Like what the heck is this, cause this is what they caught. This is what they caught on picture, on the on the camera. Like what is that? <laughs> what the hell is that, cause? What the fuck? And they put that on the. It was on the news. They put it on their Twitter, and they was like, they don't know yeah, what this is. CNN. Bro, like what is that? That's crazy work. And there was a lot of um. I think there was a lot. Of, I think there was some famous person. He said he was. He went out hunting one time. And he said he saw a wolf and he was about to shoot and kill it, but it stood up and it ran away like on two feet. And he was like, nah, like I ain't never seen nothing like that before. So I think, bro, I, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like we got big animals around here, but we just don't like. What if they're people, bro? Well, those, that's a person? Yes. It could be a person, but like, who the hell is out there? There's some weird niggas out here, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> you think so? Like, niggas just be like cosplaying, <laughs> cosplaying randomly. As fucking wolves, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> like, it just don't, like. Of course, I want to be like. I want. I want to be like that so bad. Like, be like, nah, this can't be. Real. I just don't know, though. I don't know either. Like, I, 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 like I told Corey before. I personally never seen nothing about Bigfoot, but I can't tell nobody that's seen it. Like, oh no, that's not it. All right. Especially. Where we live at, we don't live in wooded areas. So we where we live where all the there, there's mad people. We live by the cities. Right. We're not in the country. Imagine there's people that live in towns of like a hundred people, and woods. Yeah. <laughs> like yo, imagine. So you just out, you be bored out there in the woods one day. You see some big freaking creature, whatever, red eyes, something like that. I would be yo. I would. So you I'll, believe them over it? I would believe them depending on where they are. Right. Depending on where they are and like how what they're talking about, like the claims that they are, because some people might just say that just for the clout. But I feel like nowadays, since aliens is real, like you really can't get clout off that. No. You know what I mean? Like unless you have video proof, like you could say you can go on TikTok and be like, Yeah, I seen this, that, and third. You could gotta believe it. But nobody gonna believe you unless you got proof. Right. Especially since we've seen like aliens been on the news, people put Bigfoot on the news sometimes. So you gotta really come in with some hard proof. So that's the only way, but I don't think people are actually doing it for clout anymore. Like I don't think anybody's going into the woods and actually like dressing up as Bigfoot anymore for like either jokes, yeah, no. jokes and like to be on TV. Cause I feel like it's easy. It's so easy to be famous and go viral nowadays that you don't even have to do that no more. And nobody's thinking of doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But people who were even like being dressed as Bigfoot or whatever, like they wasn't getting clout off it. They weren't, but they it was like showing their face. They weren't, but it was like they were. I guess the pe- person that was, like, I guess the person that was like, um, shooting the video. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe they just trying to mess it up and do something like that. Friend, I don't know, like, maybe they just trying to prank him. I don't know. It's just like I feel like, uh, like I was watching. I was I seen Jordan today, and we was talking about in the Philippines they have bats that are five foot five. Imagine a bat the size of a dog, bigger than a dog, bro. Like a like a like a Great Dane with wings, but they they all they do is eat fruit and bugs. But like we don't really have nothing that big around here. But like it could be in the woods, something that big. But it might be something like OD. I don't know what it'd be. I don't think it'll be like some. Like actually, you know what? I've seen a very big horse. That's about it. I've seen like a huge ass horse. Like <laughs> like it looked like like, like a double the size of a horse. Like it looks like like imagine a horse but doubled like the mass and like. Legs. Hold on. Let me see if I can look oh, it up. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, like muscle wise. Muscle wise, wise and height height yeah. wise. Uh-huh. Giant giant horse. Let me see if I can look this up. Like, like look at this. I don't know if that's real or not. That nah, thing is no way that's real. That thing is huge, my. Fuck that. This is definitely not real. That's not real. There's no way. That thing is huge, cause that thing got muscles on it. That might be real. That might be real. I think. But look at the height. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, what? That is a fucking um, that is huge. Like this one too. That thing kick you in the face. You cook. You cook. No, man. you're dead. <laughs> you cook. So I don't know. I don't know about all that. They they're gonna have to show show me. Maybe maybe an alligator. Maybe a giant alligator. Bro, shit. Probably that. That's probably the that's probably the most likely thing. A giant alligator or like a giant. Cause like we don't really have any crazy animals around here. Mm-mm. Maybe a giant bear, but like. Uh, I I won't think I never seen like a really big bear. 
But like we I've already, but bear but bears are already big in general. I never seen a fucking bear at all. That's what I'm saying. You know, there's, there's bears in Jersey, bro. You remember when we was in uh, middle school? That bear that got stuck in the tree and uh, at the I at the library. Do I remember that? You don't thing? remember that? Damn. It was either middle school or like fifth grade or fourth grade. Like there was a bear, a black bear got stuck in the tree at the library. Like the was it Union. big? No, nah, it was like a little. It was like a little black bear. It was like a teenage bear, but they had to shoot him down. Oh shit! No, bro. not like like a train. They tranquilized him. Oh okay. Because he came up from uh, the mountainside. He came by. He was from. He went through mountainside. Like mm. you, because mountainside connects to the the um golf course. Mm. So he probably came. He probably walked through the golf course right. and made his way. Because you know the golf course is right there. He probably made his way through the swamp and made his way up to the thing. He climbed up a tree like at nighttime. I do not remember that. Really? Okay. It was like a minute ago. I for, it was either middle school or like elementary school. But I remember my dad also. My dad. I remember we was driving by um, Kwame on Colonial. You know where like uh, there's like a like the sh- like it's Colonial and then on each side is the golf course. Mm-hmm. He said he seen something walk across the street, but it wasn't a dog. <laughs> It wasn't a cat. It wasn't a raccoon. It was big and it had a tail. I think it was like a mountain lion or something. Nah, real, oh, oh, shit. Nah, oh, yeah, that reminds me. Bro, I think I was coming from your crib. Nah, it wasn't coming from your crib because I, I took a one. I think I was coming from maybe the gym. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Bruh. You seen a mountain lion? Bruh, I think I seen some shit. Really? Like that, that ass, <laughs> it, 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 it ran through. It ran through, bro. I swear to God, bro. It ran through like um, you know where near my house. You know where Domino's is at? That Domino's. Yeah. The, the, like okay, so so you took you go coming back from Kawami. There's a light right here. There's a light. The light that that's right there, and you the take bank. the right by the Bank of America. Yeah, yeah, bro. There's some shit that went through that 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 crossed crossed the whole street, bro. Really? I'm like, bro, what the fuck is that? I'm like, yo. <laughs> There's a tail, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? It looked- I thought it was a deer at first, and then I seen a tail. Really? I swear to God, bro. I'm like, yo, <laughs> what is that, yo? And then I tried to, you know, try to, you know, drive a little faster to make it. I didn't see it no more, bro. Really? I swear to God, bro. How long ago was this? This was recently? Yo, this was mad long. I don't want to say mad long ago, but it was like a couple months ago. Really? Yeah, bro. And I called my girl. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I just seen some shit. That's like, a, Yo, I'm saying there might be a mile. Because you got, like I said, like it connects to like like mountainside. That's a whole forest up there. Mm. So like there's like like uh trails and stuff. So there could be like bears and stuff. And uh, what's it called? Um, Bears and like mountain lions up there. That could be like living up there and just killing like the little. I think there's like wild turkeys up there and stuff. There's mm. mad stuff up there, bro. Mountains. Yeah, like there could be. There's probably something around there. There might not be a lot, but there's probably like one mountain lion. That's od. Yeah, bro. That's just scared. Fuck out. Really? That's just not cross the street and shit. Like that thing was probably mad confused, bro. Right. <laughs> like where the hell am I? I was scared as hell. Nah, bro. I was scared to take a turn and see if it was near my crib. Nah, bro. really? Oh hell. Yeah, I was scared as fuck, bro. <laughs> so, bro, I remember. Um. I was remember there was, we was gonna do a video, like a haunted video. There was gonna be one in like a I found a forest. It's called Jenny Jump State Forest. That's in like, it's like North Jer- Northwest. So you know like it's like in the corner of New Jersey, like on the top left corner. Mm-hmm. There's a state park up there. I was gonna I wanted to do a haunted video because supposedly that thing was haunted. Mm-hmm. So me, Chris, and Bash, we went up there just to like scout out the area, and I didn't know that that's where people go to hunt bears. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo. Hold on, if we would have went here at the wrong time of the yeah, year, them would've. we would have seen a freaking bear. Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't gonna lie, there was a cave. I seen a cave, but I'm just thinking like, oh, okay, this is just like a normal cave. But I'm like, there could have been a bear. <laughs> there could have been a bear right? in there. Just like <laughs> because it was like around like uh, December. It was around so, winter, so it was so like hibernation. Hibernation, but like you know, like bears and stuff, they don't hibernate and they don't like sleep forever. Right, they don't. Yeah, they, they just like they're out. just like more slow, but like they're also more agitated. Mm-hmm. So they're like, if we would have seen one, they would have freaking attacked. Nah, they would have. It would have been over. When I seen that, I'm like, hold on, because I looked it up on the internet. It was like, yeah, this is where most of the people like in New Jersey, New York, they go to hunt bears. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of od. I ain't gonna lie, that's <laughs> that's kind of wild. I don't, I don't know about that. So maybe we might go there. Fritz is definitely not gonna be there. Fuck no. <laughs> Fritz is not going to be there. Fritz would not be there. You might go there for what? <laughs> <That> <laughs> niggas, yo, I don't know. Who, who 
who are my friends with, bro? Like, what's the guy, bro? Bro, I grew up watching freaking Finding Bigfoot and so many survival shows. I'd be thinking I'm one of them, bro. <laughs> this crazy work. Yeah, yeah. I, that's cool. <laughs> I get that. That's cool, but hey. you don't got to be the guy to do it. <laughs> I don't got to be the guy. No. Hey, bro. All right. You want to do a blind ranking, bro? Yeah, let's do a blind ranking. All right. So we got blind ranking of the animals you can beat with your bare hands. Since we talk about animals. All right. And we got I got five animals. So at the fifth spot, be like, nah, I cannot beat him. Like he will kill me. And then the one spot is like, yeah, nah, it's easy work. All right. Okay. Let's see if you're nice. So the first animal is a dolphin. Beating that nigga ass. Can you really oh, beat up a dolphin for real? If I'm in land, if like Say you're on the beach. I can't be in the water. Say you like shallow water. Like the dolphin's right there in the shallows. Oh, and, like I, you can stand and I can up. stand up. Yeah, that's that's fair. Beating that nigga ass. You gonna beat his ass? What? I feel like dolphins is type strong, though. Like, you got... Bro, I hit it in its, in its, in it's, its bi- schnoz, bro. <laughs> that shit, that is his schnoz, bro. That long-ass beak he got, bro. <laughs> it's over, bro. I feel like they not gonna... I feel like they not gonna be easy as hell to, like... So what would you rank that as? Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, um... Damn, I might give it like a four. A four? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's it's like cool. one to ten? No, one to five. One to five. Oh. So it's only five. I'll give it a three then. Three? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, an orangutan. Ooh. <sighs> that's a little scary. Because that's... orangutans are they don't fight. They and they they're grab not, they're not they're not like fighters. They but do grab me. They grab you. And that's gonna hurt. I feel like they they're the, <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Listen, that's gonna hurt. And they got way more reach. <laughs> they got a wingspan of like KD, cuz. That nigga, them niggas got wingspans of KD, bro. Um, uh, damn. I don't even wouldn't wanna fight that. I ain't Yo, gonna... just honestly, bro, irritated monkeys, bro, just scare me, bro. Yeah, I'm like, saying. Monk, and they got monkeys thumb. scare me, they got... bro. They got, like, I ain't gonna lie, monkeys. Monkeys, if it ain't those little cute ass, <laughs> I'm scared. Nah, low key. Even it's chips? Just like, Oh no, chimps is. No, nah, no, chimps is od. Nigga, chimps. But like, I feel like orangutans is like they're not fighters. But I feel like if you mess with them, they go. Like you seen that one video that rank that guy was messing with orangutan and he grabbed him. He wouldn't and, let him go in the, in the prison, bro. That's scary. Like he was in a cage. Yes, like, like that's nah, scary. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. What would you, what would you put it as? Four. Four. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be worse. Okay, a wiener dog. Nigga, that's one. That's one. Yeah, I'm kicking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not the wiener dog. Nah, I I wouldn't want to now. But like, if you want, that I, if I if that nigga irritated me or some shit like that, or yeah, he's like, getting punted right in the he's ribs. Punted like, a wiener dog. I haven't seen a wiener dog in mad long, bro. Really? I be a me nigga, and JC a lot. We just seen one yesterday. Really, a nigga that that, that that owns a wiener dog. But they're not. Honestly, they're not. They ain't like they're not weenies for real. Like, yeah, they ain't <laughs> like long. Like they tall, look. Like, they look like more of. Like they still got long bodies, but they're not like they're they got they look a lot different. They're like fluffier now. Right. Like Jay wants one of them. A wiener dog? Yeah, it looks like more like let me let me show you a picture. Like a it's like it's not like how you know how wiener dogs before they all had like short hair? Oh, bro, what the freak? Wiener dog. Like they don't look like they don't really look like this no more. Like yeah, there's yeah, yeah. they're mostly like this. Like, you know, they're little oh, yeah. Yeah, Jay loves these dogs, bro. I forgot, like, like stuff like this. Like, look at that. That's oh, like, hell no. Nah. That is a cute-ass dog. That's, that's adorable, bro. Nah, look, I, look, Jay. Uh, what? <laughs> like, these dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what they be looking like now. <laughs> Jay loves. Jay love, she call them Dashkins. Uh, They're called Dachshunds. Uh, Dashkins? No, it's, what? it's called Dachshund, but Jay says Dashkins. Jay, Jay you can't read? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh. It looks like it's like D A S, but oh. it's like it's like a German name, whatever. Oh. But yeah, I we seen one the other day. Like it's like more fluffy. Like they don't really no, look like yeah, like hot dogs. They're way more adorable. Yeah, I don't nah, know. They like crossbreeded or they, something. They are cross. Come on. Yeah, you know how they, they be. Are, yeah, you know how they be. A lot of these dogs is mostly like they're literally experiments. I ain't gonna lie. They're most a lot of it's dogs sad. are clones. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really sad. sad. Because I seen some shit. Bro, a lot of dogs, bro. Like they they come out with like health problems like you know the bullies like uh jordan has a new dog it's a uh the french bulldogs mm. he has like he literally can't breathe yeah 
because his face is so scrunched, so scrunched up, up and it's like a little nose right. and he's like he's just like, yeah, like he's that all the time bro, that is crazy yo. and like my uncle had a like my uncle and my cousin they had a bully he couldn't go up the stairs really because his legs was too short really yeah like he like because you know bullies they're like this yeah. he can't go like this like he can't go like that uh, so dude. he's literally like handicapped and like he died in like three months because he had like a stomach problem oh no that's crazy like that's crazy work bro be causing me, man. Man, yeah bro go ahead. but so you have you got three I think my list is good right now three four and wiener dogs one so now you just need two and five so the next one is a koala bear oh that's two Wait, you gotta you gotta remember, koala bears are vicious, bro. Like they're yeah, actually they, they do good. really they got bad. claws. They got claws and they're really aggressive. Like they jump out of trees. Yeah, you're right. Like I have to make but, sure I gotta tell you about that because like they have signs that say beware of falling like jumping bears because they jump out the trees and like attack people. Oh, I don't like that. Like. <laughs> Okay, like a orangutan is one thing, but when that thing jumps on you, yeah. But you gotta understand, I only, I got, I got, I got, I got you got heart. I got no, <laughs> I, I got five spots, and I put four orangutan, three dolphin, one wiener dog. You got two and five. You can just hope this one might I be mid. I can't do five, bro. I feel like the last one is gonna be like a tiger. It's gonna be some bullshit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Damn, they really do be that bitch. Yeah, I heard they're pretty bad. Like you can like people they they see them as often as like you see like in Australia they see them like how we see like a a raccoon or a possum, but it's like they're like more adorable. But it's like you can't touch them. Wow. Or they're gonna really like attack you like for real. Wow. Like it's that bad. And I feel like yeah, they really could do that. They could really like, do some damage. I ain't gonna hold you. They do got claws. Mm. So I don't know. I feel like some in the trees. If they're in the trees, bro, too, and I can't climb up. I know they just, they just going just land on you. They just gonna land on me and just attack you, cause that's crazy work. I ain't gonna lie. In Australia, they got some crazy animals. They got the biggest spiders. Yeah, Australia, bro. I I would never. I'm gonna be honest. Not trying I'll to be rude, go. but I wouldn't go. I'll go just because I would not go because everything, every bug is bigger. Yo. Every bug is bigger. There's going to be, I'm going to be in like a, I don't know, maybe if there's places where like those bugs or those animals can't re- really reach or some shit like yeah. that. But th- like them shits be everywhere. everywhere. I can't live over there. I ain't going to lie. Like the Australian outback is a thing, bro. Like, you know, they'd be like, oh, go to the outback. They go, they, they, there was a map of Australia and like they put red dots of where like the people live at, like like the populated areas. The, the the populated areas are literally just around the coast, like around it. Mm-hmm. Not even on the top or bottom. It's just like this side and that side. That's where all the people are. Everything else in the middle, nothing. Nobody lives there. No people live there. That's just straight where the animals live. And they got a lot of them out there. Cause nah, that's, OD, that's where bro. the crocodiles live. They got the and then on the coast, that's where they got the big sharks. Like I'm talking about the ones that you see in uh, Shark Week. What? Yeah. So around it, they got sharks. Nah, bro. Because you gotta remember, Australia. That's where they used to send the prisoners from, like Europe and stuff. You you did you? I didn't know that. You shit. didn't know that. That's where they like that. Like Australia before it was colonized, whatever. It was that's where they used to send like prisoners from like Europe and like Africa and stuff. Like if you were a prisoner and like you was like really that bad, they sent you away to that island because just just, uh, just for the animals to get you some shit. Think about it. They got just animals. They got dangerous animals. You, you, okay, you can try to go leaving a boat. Then big sharks gonna get you. Oh shit! Like it's crazy. <laughs> what sent them to? It's literally to like death. Like it's literally like a like a death a death place, bro. Nah, it is death death island, bro. A giant island. That's a, like that island is huge, bro. Like that's a big island. But I would still, I would still go just because I think it would be cool. Fuck no. I would just be, and like they have some crabs out there that's like this big. Like I don't want to, I don't want to like while I'm sleeping, like yeah, with wake the, up and there's a fucking big ass fucking spider that's spider like this that's big. You, oh my gosh, I'd, I'd die, bro. <laughs> I'd die. I'd definitely faint, and that shit, that shit could have my body, bro. Pause, bro. But that shit could, that shit could do with it. Pause, bro. I, I don't even know what to say, bro. <laughs> like, because no, seriously, I'd I'd really faint, bro. Yo, it? Nah, I'm I, not I, like I'm. 
Okay. I'm not good. With, I got arachnophobia, phobia, bro. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not good with spiders, bro. I don't mind spiders, but like that big, I'm gonna be kind of hesitant. I'm kind like, of hesitant, bro. Yo, I die, bro. Arach- I don't know. It's just the way that spiders look. Like, why do they look like that? I don't know. It's I mean, why, it's why it 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 bothers. But me. you gotta be the one to kill the spider, though. You got you know it's you. You know, think about it, though. Oh, <laughs> you gotta have a loophole. <laughs> think about it, yo. Think about it. <laughs> spiders carry their babies. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You kill a spider, they babies. Are their gonna babies be, gonna ooh. be all around. Yup, yup. A um, uh, hundred million or hundred thousand. Now you got a thousand. 100,000 to fight sp- off spiders in your house, bro. I know. I see You're one, not going to find all of them. Bro, I seen one. There was a lady. There was like a there was a spider in the bathtub and she sprayed it with the water and like there was mad spiders that came off his back crawling around. I'm bro, like, "Nah, bro. I ain't going to lie. That's kind of nuts." Like that's 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 not fair. That's crazy. That's not fair. And like I remember I seen one like a lady stepped on the spider and it got up sh- sh- crawling straight, everywhere. Straight crawling. Uh, Cuz nah. they carry their shit in their back or under their whatever they got, bro. Nope. I hate spiders. I hate it. Like, I hate them. spiders or snakes. Which one's worse? Ooh, ooh. It gotta be spider. I don't, I'm not really scared of snakes. Like I'm honestly like if I if I see a snake in this room, I wouldn't be scared. I'm a I'm a. Now I'm you a, crazy as hell. Really? Are you serious? You are a bold man, bro. <laughs> I just don't know, bro. Listen. As long as the snake not poisonous and it's going, I'll I'll pick it up. I don't. Huh? I will like, bro. You never seen like you just pick it up by the tail and then you just get a stick and just like make sure that the head don't go by you. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get bit by it, regardless. <laughs> I, know, I don't I care don't. if it's poisonous or not. I don't, but like, I don't want to touch that shit, regardless. Really? The snakes not even that scary. I don't. I like. I never understood why people were so scared of snakes. I really never understood that. Why do them niggas got no arms and legs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's why. And why do they be slithering around? They're just in their. Why do they look like they're that? They're in their early stages of, uh, what's it called? Ele- evolution. Like, they're not lizards yet, but they're just before lizards. Nah, bro. Snakes <laughs> are scary, bro. Really? I yeah, never. I would rather. Scary. I mean, I'm not scared of spiders either, but if no, anything, I, I'd be. No, I think I'd rather a snake. Oh, yeah. I'd rather a snake be, be in front of me. Yes. Okay. Because. Because. Um, it's easier to get away from. Like, like think about it, bro. Well, spiders not gonna like. It's not like they are gonna chase after you. Or some yeah, shit, but it's but like, like they you you, you might lose one, lose them. Yeah, you might lose them. Yeah, snake, you, you you gonna see it. <laughs> you gonna know. You gonna you gonna know where it's like. At, would bro. you rather there be a hundred snakes in here or a hundred spiders? I'll take the snakes. Nah, I'll take the snakes. Cause I don't like. I just don't like. Cause they're I gonna could, be making I, webs. I could really step on the snakes and shit like that. that what you gonna like step? That. No, you can't step on a snake. Like, <laughs> what are you gonna? Oh no, no, they gonna bite me. Yeah, but like you not like you can just like avoid them. Like they're not gonna mess with you. <sighs> I just don't like snakes. You know what it is though? <laughs> it's cause I don't see them shits enough. Oh okay. You know what I mean? Yeah yeah, I get what you mean. Like I don't see them enough. We don't really have so, snakes around here. Yeah exactly. So if I That's see true. one, I'm gonna be like. What the fuck <laughs> is that doing here? Like, like, why? Why is this here? And so, it's gonna it's gonna throw me off, bro. Yeah, I get you. So that that I think that's what's like. I'm strictly afraid of spiders. Yeah, but I am gonna be afraid of the snake because why is it here? You know what I mean? You know what I'm I'm not I'm not afraid of, but I'm very uncomfortable with birds. Birds are not good too. Bro. Like like I I did I didn't I didn't mind birds before until. I started going to the beach a lot more. Yeah, I just don't like it. I don't it. like the I don't like, the, I don't like how they can fly. They got the claws. Yeah. The beak. Like even I'm not even I, like chickens also. Oh yeah, I don't like chickens either. Chickens bro. is just yeah, like Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. imagine you in a chicken coop, they all just yeah. start flying around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be stressed yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, that's gonna throw me off. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm with you on that. Like one. I remember I used to watch Jackass. And they used to they used to do the little dares, and then one of the dares was like, oh, you gotta grab a chicken. Yeah, chicken. Yeah. And I remember they was in the chicken coop, and they was trying to catch the chicken, and the chicken would run away, mm-hmm. and all the other chickens would run away and fly in the air. And you right. know, a chicken coop got a top got, on it. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not it's not like a the wooden ones, but it was like the it was like a cage, but there was no top. It was a it was a cover, so they would just hit the top and go down. So they was just flying all over them. I would get stressed out. I don't like that. Nah, yeah, and I don't need that too. Like, I hate them niggas got claws. Like, yeah, they, they, like, they, they really could like. Like, I don't know. I, I don't like. I don't like the way birds look, neither, bro. Like, like, I, oh I'm my gosh. I'm starting to not like bird, the way birds look. And like, like Jay, this. Jay has a bird. 
like has a little like a little parrot. Mm. And I remember her, her parents used to let her let him out or whatever, fly around. And I used to just not like like he used to like fly like say I'm on the couch, he'll fly, he'll land like right here, right. and I'll feel the wind. <laughs> On the back of my head because he's hovering trying to land. I'm right. like, I don't like that. <laughs> and like, I'll be, they'll be like this. And he'll, they'll fly on his finger. I, yeah. I'll be, they'll try to make me do it. I can't do it. Yeah. I was like, I, like I'm afraid like he gonna peck he me. Gonna be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he gonna like grab like, like claw. Like, yeah, like, dude, I don't like that. Hurt. I don't like that at all, bro. I, <laughs> no, I don't but like you, that. No, I don't like birds neither, bro. Nah, but but so you will put koala bear at two. Yeah, I'm putting at two. Okay, because the last one is a hamster. Oh yes. Wait, you had five left. I fucking knew it. No, that's not wait. Wait, wait, that's not what. Wait, wait. I wanted to put that five. You want to put koala bear at five? Cause you said you wanted. You thought nah, I had something crazy. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, but yeah. I was trying to help you. Out. Yeah, and then when you said that, when you said that, I was like, damn, should I put that at five? But yeah, I put that at two. Damn, so it's a hamster. A hamster. So the hamsters Fuck, at five. But, yo, that's not even. Damn. I mean, a hamster might have rabies. Fuck that, bro. <laughs> it said you. You told me. You told me if I could beat it with my hands, but yeah. pause. That means that means no re- You're not worried about the repercussions yeah. afterwards. I ain't gonna I lie. could beat that nigga, that hamster, bro. Just throw that shit. Yeah, I know. In the wall, and that's it. Bro. Oh, that oh, that's crazy. I know. <laughs> I know, bro. I just maybe I don't like just little animals, bro. Like that. I remember one of my boys, like he had a ham, a pet hamster, bro. Really, you didn't like that? I didn't like that. You know you what? Know, just just touching it. Them niggas used to tweet. Them niggas used to, nigg- like, <laughs> used to sweep this shit in the pot. Yeah, Jordan used to do that, too. That is really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Jordan used to like, tell me he used to, like, get the hamster go like this. And his eyes, like, eyes would pop like, out. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, you guys are <laughs> niggas is not. <laughs> That's evil, bro. Like these animals. Like he can't even help himself. He can't even save himself. He literally getting squeezed, bro. Like that's OD. Like that's bad. You know what's crazy? Yo, that is crazy. A lot of the hamsters, like they don't die. They'll die, or they'll get out of their cage and they get lost and die. Okay. Like imagine, you, like imagine you have a hamster and he gets lost. Imagine he gets Yo. lost in your crib and he has no food. He literally out there starving. Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> and he bro. can't get back home. We don't know where to go. Damn. Bro. Like a lot of the times, you know, they go, they go, um, they hide behind like you know the beds or like they hide behind uh freaking the the, the fridge. Mm-hmm. And they they just get stuck back there. Oh really? Like it'd be like, yo, they can't get out. But I'm like, yo, that's crazy work. Like they just you you stuck you get, you're starving in your own home. Right. And you can't even find your way out <laughs> of your own house. Yo, this is not funny, but that is funny, bro. bro. Why do niggas just pick up? I think when Jordan, I think Jordan's hamster. I think he stepped on him. Oh my god. Yeah, I think he stepped on accident. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like my aunt, yo, like hamsters. They're just they're literally like. Domesticated rats. Rats, right. <laughs> like honestly, they're domesticated like freaking rats and like my mice. You <laughs> stepping on I know that's a terrible death, bro. Like you oh get my stepped. God, Imagine bro. you just you just and see you the foot. Fu- see that shit. Bro. You gotta feel that. Yeah, like you gotta like feel. The, oh the my squish God. and the crunch like Oh <laughs> That just make you cringe. Oh uh, and uh, uh, niggas just pick up hamsters and squish. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's evil shit That's so messed that's up That's evil bro. shit bro. Hey, That's man. funny as hell though hey, But um I don't know why people would do that shit But like Yeah damn My aunt know. used that. My aunt had a hamster And I remember I think She thought She had um Two boy hamsters But it was a boy and a girl oh, so they And was, they made it Bro they had 30 kids Oh they was just fucking yeah, No it was like Yeah and it was like At one time It just pff, 30 came out Wait But I think Because I think Wait the, they they give birth, they give birth that that many times. I think so. In one sitting, I think yeah, I think it's a lot. Like I don't know if it was thirty, it might have been like ten, but it was a lot in one time. Jeez. But like, just imagine, like I think she went to sleep. She didn't know the hamster was pregnant. Went to sleep, woke up, mad babies, or like she woke up to like little baby like whining. Wow. But, like dang, like I, like that's the one animal, that's the one pet I think I wouldn't want to have. Hamster. Yeah, I wouldn't want to want to really hamster. or a guinea pig. Guinea Are pig. Are they the same shit? Nah, guinea pigs are more like bigger. And they're like, mm. think of like a guinea pigs like in the mix between like a hamster and a rabbit. Mm. Like they like. Why move. wouldn't you want a guinea pig? They stink. Like Ish had guinea pigs. Uh. Like I think I don't know if he still has them anymore, but I remember he never brought them downstairs. He always kept them upstairs where his dad's. Um, like okay. you remember in Ish's crib, like he had like right. the little up upstairs. Yeah, yeah. They kept them upstairs, and they just kept them in a box. And I just think they just like they smell. They don't really do much. They're like. Yeah, what's the point of having them? It's like what's the point of having? Them? It's like like with like. 
like it's cool to have a bunny, but you have to have a like I want I would want a diff, like like I told you before I want that big ass bunny, like there's a bunny that's the size of a dog. Why do you want that? Just think about it. you walk in my crib, you see a big ass bunny, that would be hard, bro. Like that's some exotic, <laughs> like the bunny's like this big, bro. Why do you want that? Like I just feel like that's that's cool. No, it's not cool. No, like just imagine a little I think, rabbit. I think bunnies are like, like aren't they like easily like scared like they yeah maybe, like you can't really like do a lot of shit with them i mean they, it depends like that like i seen i seen videos of the I bunny videos of them too. like it's like they, they like they'll like hop around they'll sleep they'll like play with the kids they're really they're really not like it's not like chris's bunnies remember when chris had bunnies i, I don't i don't think i've seen them for real like oh you never seen yo chris i he bought them off craigslist i think they gave him actually wild rabbits i'm not even gonna lie to wow. you because jay Jay gave her one of her best friends when they were younger, like a bunny rabbit for her birthday, and it was like a big, like a like a chubby bunny. Like it wasn't like a like Chris's bunnies were like skinny, like the ones you see outside mm-hmm. that run around. Mm-hmm. Th- that bunny that uh, Jay's friend had is not those type of bunnies. It was like a bigger bunny. It would just eat its food, lay down, sleep. That stuff, that type of bunny. The ones Chris had, you put them things down, that thing's running in a circle. Really? Yeah, like it was like, and like you will hold them. And his heart is beating mad fast because he's scared. Mm-hmm. And he's just like shaking. And then when you let him go, he just runs and runs underneath the thing and he just hides. But like that, her but like their bunny wasn't like that. It was like an actual like pet. I feel like Chris didn't have pets. That was just like a <laughs> they <laughs> just literally just, wild animals. Like he had wild animals in his crib. Because he because he got them all Craigslist. So like <laughs> so what happened to him, dude? he gave him he gave him away. Right. Chris had mad animals. He had like four cats, right. a dog, yeah. two bunnies. I don't know how he he lives in a Haitian household, but you know, know Chris wasn't taking good care of them, <laughs> them pets, bro. I think he has a cat now. He still has a cat. Yeah, I think he got a because I remember when we was in um Charlotte. He's I think his his cousin's cat had a baby and he took one of them. But I remember it's not wasn't it wasn't like the cat that he had like two years ago. Oh, it was. That I forgot. Cat's gone. Yeah, that cat, the uh, rebel. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Oh. I don't know what happened to him. Chris be letting cats go too in the freaking in the. Around like Mill Run, like there's one of his casters that, that still be coming back. Like I think he just let him go because he he went into the wall, and when he finally got him out, he's like, "Bro, I can't take him." He just threw him out. What's wrong with the thing? <laughs> Chris is so bad, bro. Chris is so bad. But it's weird, bro. Y- you want to go into the last topics we're gonna talk about, Fritz? Yeah, go ahead. So I got I got a couple topics to talk about. We're gonna go into like the spooky paranormal stuff. We got I got some stories about cursed objects. So the first, but the first curse I want to ask is like, do you think? Objects could be cursed, Fritz. Like you think there's like cursed, like dolls and cursed, like a, uh, you know, like a book or whatever. You think that's a you think that's a possible thing? Cursed dolls. Yeah, like cursed dolls, like a like an animal doll, or like some some doll like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know about um that cursed doll that's in a museum. What uh the the Annabelle one? Is it Annabelle? Is that what? no no the oh the the, the, the the um the one in, I know what you're talking about. It was like a boy doll. Yeah, I think yeah, I told you about yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah. We See, about it, yeah. that's that's what I'm saying. That's I believe in that stuff. But like the one I have for you is is I have a video of it, and it's like think about a haunted Toy Story, bro. Like haunted Toy Store. Toy Story. Story. Like you know how Toy Story the toys move. Right. Bro. Listen. So there was a there was a guy. He was an antique seller, right? So he buys and sells antique shops, antiques like a. Dolls, knickknacks, this and that third. So he bought a monkey doll from a swap meet. Well, not bought it. Like he swapped it for something. But it looked mad creepy. Like I'm gonna show you a picture of it. Uh, this is what the doll looked like. It's like a okay. It's like, like a, a monkey, right? That's a monkey or a bear. It's like a it's like a monkey. I don't know. I think it's like it's either a bear or a monkey. It's like one of those ones. Mm. So he was like, all right. He he was creeped out about it. He was gonna give it to his kid. But it was it looked too creepy. So you know he's like, you know what? I'm not gonna keep giving my kid. I'm gonna put it in a storage unit where he keeps all his other antiques and he's gonna hopefully sell it to somebody else, right? So he gets a call one day from the um what's it called? He gets a call one day from the owners of the storage unit. He said, Yo, I think there's something in your storage unit. Like he they were hearing banging and like scratches and stuff moving around in there. He don't know what it is. And there's like they're like concerned, like like do you have do you have something there? You have an animal in there? Mm. He's like, no, nah, I don't got nothing. He's like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna see maybe an animal crawled in there, like a like a rat or something is like messing with it. So he put a camera in there, bro. When I tell you this was one of the scariest things I've seen, bro. You sure? I was like, nah, this is some this is OD. This is like some poltergeist thing, bro. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. 
I'm a people. I'm gonna put the video up on uh, TikTok, and I'm gonna put the video up on here if y'all want to see it. But here, Fritz, I'll let you take a look at it. <clears throat> but I'm gonna not tell. You, I'm gonna I, while Fritz is watching this, I'm gonna tell y'all. It's like I don't get scared easily, but if I would have seen that with my own eyes, I would have lost it, bro. I'm burning that thing. Let me know when you. No fucking way. Yo. It's crazy, bro. That jug is so nuts, bro. That's what that's what he saw on camera, bro. <laughs> that's what he saw on camera. Bullshit. Bro. You think he faking that, bro? What? That's scary as hell. He might have been faking that, but like, imagine that was real, bro. Like, if that's real, that's crazy work, bro. That jig is OD, it's bro. Bullshit, bro. You think it's bad? You think it's fake? Yeah, bro. It has to be like a string or something, <laughs> bro. Yeah, if that joke was real, bro, it has to be like a string or something. So I think I, I don't know, bro. I, if that doll, it could, it, it probably is. Like, there's more of a real reason why it's fake, but at the same time, if that junk is real, just let's let's pretend it is real. That's, what I'm That's OD, bro. Like. I'll be scared. Like, I would, like, <laughs> I'll be so scared, yeah, Would you be scared, though? Like, what, what the fuck is, like, that's, I get it. Fritz, imagine, I right? get it. You know, I understand. <laughs> Yo. I understand. But what is it possibly going to do to you? I don't know if it's going to do anything. It's just, like, out of the ordinary. Like, imagine. No, it's definitely out of the ordinary. Like, imagine a fucking, I don't know, a fucking, you got it. I don't know, fucking Funko Pop just started moving and some shit. Bro, I'm saying, like, ima- like, imagine, right? Imagine, like, when Amy was younger, like, she used to have a doll. Oh, right. Imagine you see that doll. You know you walk past that doll in your kitchen. It was sitting in the kitchen. Right. You go to your bed. You go take a brush your teeth, whatever. You go in your room. It is laying on your bed. Right. You know everybody sleep. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. How are you going to feel? I'll be. No, no. Shook. No, first of all. <laughs> I'll like, think somebody in my crib first. I'd, I'd fucking... I don't know what I'd do. I'd definitely, like, start tweaking. Uh, yo. But I, listen. Yeah. After that, it's over for that shit. Oh, like, you you and Goma, like, this thing dead. Nigga, what? <laughs> you burning this thing? <laughs> Nigga, what? Yo, I'm trying to find matches, lighters, whatever, <laughs> going outside and burning that shit. Yo. Like, off rip. Like, nah, that's... It's, 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 like, I'm, I'm, it's over for that shit. Like, did your sister ever have a doll that you was just like, ah, that junk look crazy? Like, you were scared of it? Cause my sister did. Libby had. Which doll? She had a. You know, there was a. I forgot she what. The, never, my, my sister never had a doll that was like weird looking. At bro, me. there was. I don't know if you remember. There was a company that was on TV that used to make dolls that looked like kids, that looked like the kid that they're going to. I forgot what it was called. Jay, you remember that doll company? You remember that? Do you remember that doll company that used to make dolls that looked like the kids? That like you can make a doll that looked like you. American Girl doll or something like that. It was called American... So you made your own... Did you make your own doll? J, uh, not Jay. Uh, somebody made a doll that looked like my sister. Okay. It looked just like her. They, and, the, and it comes with an outfit, the same outfit. Uh, they had the same... And like my sister... I know what you're talking about. My sister had a gap. They had the same gap on her teeth. They had the same face. Mm. And it was so creepy. And I did not like it at all. <laughs> on everything I loved. Like I and used your sister to, was carrying it around? She used to carry it around. And she used to put it like put it down places and I used to not like seeing it. I used to be like, if that junk ever popped up in my room, I totally, I'm burning it. I promise you. Word. I'm cutting it up because I'm not, I'm not playing around, bro. <laughs> nah, you can't play around with this like, shit like that. You don't like, play around with dolls, bro. Nah, dolls, I don't know why dolls were ever even, like dolls like that, mm-hmm. like were ever even popular. I don't like, know. Like them shits are so creepy, just like them staring at you or whatever, like. Just like, the f- especially it's just the way that it's just too weird looking. Like yeah, it, just, it looked yeah. too real. It yeah. looked too real. There's a lot of shit that I don't know. This just don't look right, bro. Like Barbie dolls are cool. Like yeah, Barbie dolls is fine because it's like it's smaller. But those dolls, like that doll, is kind of big too. It was like probably like it's nah, like, them shits was like, like this like, big. Was pretty like like this. Bro. Mm-hmm. And like I think there was. A, I remember I watched the TV show and on like Travel Channel. It was like one of them ghost hunter shows. And there was a there's an island in Mexico or off the coast of Mexico that has just straight dolls. And it's supposedly like haunted dolls. Like you can go over there, and like there's like on the trees, there's like doll heads. Uh, I know. Have you seen that about. before? Yeah. yeah. And like I guess some of the dolls is like haunted, or whatever. Yeah. 
And like they be having, there be stores. I think there'll be like, um, there was a tattoo place. I think it's in Jersey, whatever. They have like a doll shop, and they have haunted dolls in there. I'm like, nah, that junk is crazy. Like they, there was a video of like it, it was like a clown doll, whatever, and it was on, it was on camera, and the thing went like this, like turn his head like that. Bullshit. I was like, bro, word to, bro, I promise you, bro. I'm a yo. If I see that, bro. I'm going to get my, my screams in or I'm going to get my scared. You know, <laughs> just give me a minute until I lock in and be like, nah, this is not supposed to be, like, this is not what's happening. This is not what's like, going on right like, now. Real shit, like, until I lock in and be like, wait, I'm a human. This nigga's a dog. Like, let me set this shit on fire. Yeah, but I don't, like I I can't you can't just sit sit there scared. You can't, but like it's not gonna attack you. But at the same and time, if it attacks you. What the fuck, you a doll? But at the same, you soft as hell. At the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yo, like it's like it's like 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 Chucky. Like how the fuck how the fuck did niggas let Chucky kill? Chucky kill was tight fast though. Chuck, Chucky was fast, and he, used he to did key day carry knives and yeah, he, that he was did, crazy. He did tweak. But be for real, bro. I mean, that thing didn't die. I mean, if it was a group of people, I think I would be cooling. But if it was just me and Chucky and he got a knife, I don't. I think he might hurt me pretty badly. <laughs> oh, you pussy. You don't bro. think, bro, Fritz, that was a big-ass knife. No, no. What he had on him, it was it was no joke. But you got to understand. I'm not saying I'm losing. I'm still going to be hurt. That's going to hurt. Getting stabbed in yeah, my I calf. Think, I think you're going to lose, bro. <laughs> what? If I ain't I'm, letting Chucky get, kill me, bro. I'm not letting him either, but I'm going to be hurting. He going to stab me in my calf, my elbow, my arm. Chucky was that fast? I seen him crawling up people's arms mad quick. Oh, he did? Yeah, didn't. he was like crawling on their bodies. He was trying to kick them off. He was just like stabbing them in the neck. Like, nah, I don't like that. I don't want to feel that because like, it's not going to be a quick. It's not going to be a quick death. I'm going to kill him, but it's going it's, to. I'm really going to have to fight. For this. <laughs> I'm really going to have to fight for my life, bro. Because he got his weapon. If I had a, if I had like a bat or something, I'm cooling. Or like a, or spear, I'm good. But if I'm Dolo, no hands, and he got a weapon, if he don't have no weapon, we good. Now I'm, I'm, be, I'm really gonna murder him. Mm. But if he has a weapon on him, he's gonna, kill, he might get me. He might catch me like it. <laughs> That'd be a damn shame. The door, that nigga, a door fucking get him. That'd be a damn shame, get but it might happen. Cause niggas gonna anything. Let a dog get him hurt. But them niggas ain't Chucky wise, bro. Them niggas just moving and that's it. Bro. Yeah, I know, I know. That not they're not Chucky, but you're at the same time, them, you're just gonna get scared. Some of them dolls, they be like, if if you say something to them or do something to them, bad luck happens yeah, to you. Yeah, bad luck, yeah. Like you remember with the animal doll, somebody came in, was cursing that doll. You ain't real. He rode a motorcycle. Motorcycle ran into a tree. Cause died. Like what? <laughs> like what is going on? Like, no, I'm not even gonna test that doll. You believe in bad luck? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I believe in it. Me too. I believe. I, oh, I believe in it. I believe in like. Cause I feel like what you I be believe in good luck. Yeah, yeah, because I think I believe if you if you speak things into existence, like stuff happens. Yeah. But I also believe if like you have bad energy, bad stuff happens to you. Because mm. I feel like that's why I feel like I'm positive. I try to be positive all the time. I feel like if you think negative and think uh, like negatively, it like goes out into the universe and like just yeah, bring things comes back to you. Yeah. It come back to you. Like I feel like that's how it is. Because there's no way. Like, I feel like... I don't think you could, like, wish bad luck on the people. I hope not. But, like, I don't think that's a thing. But, like, at the same time, in your mind, if you truly believe, like, a person is going to really, like, die off some BS like that, I feel like you can manifest that into happening. Mm. Like, I feel like manifestation is all real. I feel like that's real. Mm. Like, you speaking in, into existence and it happened, that's crazy work. Like, there might be people that do that. But. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's shit real, too. Like, yeah. that, like, in the like, oh, I thought you, I thought you laughing at me. <laughs> what the fuck so funny over there? What are you laughing at? Snorting and shit. She what? really died. Like, <laughs> like, why do I hear that in the background, bro? She can't even tell us what's funny. What the fuck's so <laughs> All right, but she's a little What the fuck? What you laughing at? What you? Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, never mind. I, I mean, thought was, I thought it was like I thought we was funny for <laughs> <laughs> I thought we said so. Oh, we hit, so we hit on no, the butt. Yeah, no, no, I was gonna say I didn't. Up. I didn't say nothing funny. Yeah, me I neither. I, 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 I was thinking about the conversation. I'm like, wait, there they say nothing funny. Hey, yo. But anyways, but I got I got one last curse story. So the one I the last curse story I got is there was supposedly a car 
in the eighties, seventies, and eighties that killed fourteen people. That is that. That's how cursed it is. So, and the, there was a so, it was a, it was a nineteen sixty four Dodge three thirty. It was a very old. Well, back then it wasn't that old. It was like the seventies, and a lot of time it was um people used it as like a cop car, but the legend goes that whichever cop used that car like died. And it wasn't like they died in a car accident. They died on the way. It was like they became like... They had bad luck. Not bad luck, but it was like they like murdered people and they killed themselves. They so, they murdered people. Like say they'll... Ki- like I think one... I think two of them killed themselves and one of them killed their whole family and then killed themselves. Mm, okay. So they were like, okay, this is kind of weird. But then a family bought the car and I guess the car was nice to the family because nothing, nothing bad really happened to them. But, like, randomly, they'll be driving on the highway. The doors fly open. Like, the doors really? open in the car. And they'll be like, oh, that's kind of weird. But other than that, it wasn't bad. But, like, anybody else outside the family that touched or had contact with the car died. died. Like, they said um, somebody touched the car or whatever, did something to the car. He got ran over and decapitated by an 18-wheeler. Wait, hold on. Touched the car? Even touching the car? Even touching the car. Like even like you dr- say they drove the car with the family. He died the next day. Got hit by an eighteen wheeler. Head came off. And then two teenagers. I guess they were in the car. Also, they were also in the car. Had contact with the car, and they got. They both died and like they both got hit by cars. What? Yeah, I'm like when I was re- I was reading it. I'm like, hold on. This is, and it gets worse. Somebody, I think somebody got struck by lightning. Yeah. yeah. Bruh, I'm telling you, if you look this jug up, it's called like Golden, they call it Golden Eagle. But it was like really, this was like in the 80s and like the 90s. Like somebody got struck by lightning and a couple people like committed suicide because like they either committed suicide like how the cops did. Like they either killed themselves or they killed other people like their families and then they killed themselves. And everybody thought, everybody in town, it was in Maine, like a small, uh, small town in Maine. And everybody thought the car was cursed. And there used to be a lot of religious groups that would go and try to like, like yeah, bless the bless like it, bless the right, car right. like because they think it was cursed by a demon. Right. They will vandalize the car until and then in the late nineties the car disappeared because I guess a group of people like hijacked it and destroyed it and like, they put its parts in like different areas and like different junkyards. Okay. So but did those people die? As of right now, there's not a lot. There was a couple that died from car accidents, but they're not linking it to that because they don't want to add to the total of people that died. To the total so far is like. 14. 14 people. 14 people that died from the car. Which, like, stuff like that. Now, stuff like that, I feel like, is a stretch. And yeah, I feel like I, it might be coincidental. Coincidental, yeah. Because at the same time, it's like, it's like, oh, this car, everything goes, links back to the car. The car is evil. I mean, of course, there's things that... Like, and, and also, I'm sorry, but like, nah. like, why would that car, like, be cool with that family like specific that's what i'm saying like, like that one fa- um, unless they did like witchcraft yeah unless, unless yeah but you never okay, know yeah that I'm might be a thing but i don't yeah. know if that's a I, but i mean that might have been a thing back then but like i when i thought about that i thought about remember that one tree i told you about i don't know if i told you i told somebody on here there's a tree in like new jersey that's like very cursed like if you touch it you dead mm. and i would never go there on my life i wouldn't ne- that was something i would that's something that's i would something never, never do, do. because me and the people around me, they're going to be like, this one ain't real. And they will actually touch it. I would not let that. That's why I don't mess with that stuff. Anything that'd be like, oh, it's bad luck to go there. I would never do that. Mm. Never do none of that. Like they said, bro, they said the tree in Jersey, they call it like devil's tree or whatever. They, it, when it snows down there, no snow ever gets on the tree. No way. Yeah. Like there's like a, if you look up a picture of it, like it'll be snowing and like the tree is just like not covered with nothing. Nothing grows on it. And I guess, I think, like, you know what it'd be? It'd be the Native Americans. Native Americans, like, curse the land. Like, nothing grows over there. And people have tried to, like, cut it down, burn it. Like, you see, it has marks on it. Like, some of the people cut it down, but, like, they never, nothing they never ever happened. Could? They never could. Because I think what happened was, I think there was a guy that lived on that land who killed his family by hanging them on that tree. So, like, they kind of, I think that tree is, like, cursed. And then he think he, ki- he killed himself on that tree. And then throughout the years, nobody, they just, they were like, they just like, you know, people just like learn not to touch it or mess with it. And I think they, I don't know if they made like a, a, a landmark, but they just made it to where like you really can't, don't mess with it. Like whatever you do, don't even try it. Even if you don't believe it, I don't even want to try it. South Jersey. It's like South Jersey. South Jersey. Like deep, like 
deep South Jersey, like in the middle, like where, um, not by the shore, but like a little bit over. Maybe not, not by UJ. It's isn't it in South Jersey? Isn't it South Jersey or way north by PA? But it's in that area around there, in one of those smaller towns. I forgot it was something. That's like Bell Bellevue, something like oh, that. Bellevue or Burlington County, something like that. Oh, Burlington. Got yeah, it. Burlington County, New Jersey. I think it's something like that, but I can't remember the actual date. But I'm just. I'll never, I'll ne- you'll never see me over there. So you never would go over there? Nope. I'll, Cause I don't even want to test it. Anything, anything about all that, like, oh, you get cursed. I'm never, I'm not going to play about that. Cause I do believe in that. I'm not going to play about it. I will leave that. I believe you. I know that because, because even, even like when on Instagram and shit like that, they be like, oh, if you don't repost this, you cursed it. That you believe in that shit too? Uh, I, I do. I hate you do? it. Yeah. yeah I, I realize you do. Cause I'm like, this nigga be posting yeah, I do be posting this on time. I hate it, bro. It be pissing me off, bro. <laughs> I hate when they do that, bro. I'm yeah, just like, like, you get caught with that. Like, uh, why, 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 why are you like, doing why that? Why you like, got to be weird? Like, like I hate. I used to hate when they used to like be like, you got to repost, you got to like, share, do this. I'm like, right. like you why do all I, that shit? Nah, I don't be doing all that. But like, I, like if it's on TikTok, I'll like swipe away real quick. <laughs> I like real quick. Like, I'll see like. You already you, read it. No, I don't read. I'll be like, I say like, if you're reading this, she. Oh, okay. I'm out of there. It's crazy. Like I used to hate. I used to hate that, bro. Because it, like on, especially on TikTok, if you look at it too long once, it's gonna keep popping up right. because of the algorithm. Right. So I just like I try to dead it, bro. Right. I can't, bro. I don't. I don't like none of that stuff. I don't even like thinking about none of that because it'd be like do this or you die. Like nah, I'm cool. Yeah, that bro. should be blowing. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But you got anything else you want to talk about first before we end the podcast? Nah, bro. We, you feel me? We got a lot. Of, we got we got some good content this podcast, bro. Pretty good content. I, I, I like the shit that we talked about today. You feel me? I told you I that's a little little you know conspiracy or whatever um, murder mysteries. Not murder mystery. Oh, uh, the what the Zodiac killer thing? The Zodiac killer. We talked about the cursed art, the cursed artifacts and shit like that. Yeah, we, we got a good variety of stuff. We got a good variety of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope y'all enjoyed the podcast. Subscribe to our Patreon. I'm gonna shout out everybody who is subscribed to our Patreon. All the free. And pay subscribers. So link is all in the below. So shout out to everybody. These are our free subscribers. We got Jalen Strong, Javarion Jackson. Let me know where you're from, my brother. That is a very unique name. Haba Shuju Bashushdid. <laughs> Prince is looking at me crazy. That is what is on here. Hey, I'm not gonna judge your name. I judged your name last time. That is a beautiful name if you are watching this. Why are you judging people's names? I didn't judge it. I just thought he went like this. On the thing, right? And just wrote, <laughs> and just some, wrote, some, shit, yeah. wrote some stuff. Um, I heart big booty freaks. Hey, me too, boy. <laughs> Check it out. It's like, no. Farmington Fleming, O'Shea, Drew, Jaquavion. My boy, I know he's from Atlanta. I don't know if he's from, but he sounds like he's from Atlanta. Yeah, Jaquavion, I know you. Bro. Jesse Rodriguez, Kev, Rob Quash, Cal, Nud the Shield, Isabel Graham, Leak. DJ Snake Willis. Butchering these No, names, I'm not. Bro. I'm not. This is actually butchering. The- <laughs> butchering His name is N U N U H D A S H I E L L. Nud the Shield. Okay. Yeah. Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, LaQuell Ingram, my boy from Harlem, Tyrone Bones, Corey Petty, and King Fry. And we got our second round steal. So the people that's paying $5 a month, shout out to all y'all. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Y'all is a very special group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Thank you. We got actually a Patreon episode for y'all coming this weekend. Oh, Pop. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it, is it, is it which, which, which episode? It's, uh, with, it's UJ? With UJ, Tyrone. Uh, on count of three? And Corey, yeah, on count of three. Oh, shit. You guys got a new Patreon episode. Who, who, who them is right there? Who the what? Who them is right there? Oh, who them is right there? Who Hold them on. <laughs> We got DJ Khalid, bro. Shout oh, out to DJ you. Oh, DJ Khalid? Uh, nah, Khalid, bro. Oh, Khalid? Uh, what's good? <laughs> uh, we got Muhammad. Oh, Muhammad. My boy Muhammad. Shout out my boy Muhammad. And Tamia. Oh, Tamia. Shout out Tamia. You feel me? Say no. I think that's, uh, that's UJ, girl. Oh, my gosh. No, <laughs> Tamia. <laughs> 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 I don't want <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk no more, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, you Jake. I didn't know, bro. And now we have to get hyped. This is for a ten dollar tier. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Shout out to everybody that's in our $10 tier. Y'all paying us $10 a month. Yes, sir. Like, yeah, I really. hope y'all like the mukbang because that's the one we post the mukbang Oh, on. yeah. You got... Oh, yeah. Let me know if y'all like the mukbang. Let me know if I should be in more Patreon episodes. That's what I'm saying. Me? Let, me let us know. We got a lot more. There's a lot more stuff coming to the pop. We're going to talk about that afterwards. So, we got... Shout out to Tavon Cox. Yes, sir. Tavon. I'm not saying your last name. <laughs> and we got Leland Poole, who's... <laughs> He upgraded from the five dollar tier to the ten dollar tier. Oh, so y'all should do the same. He big balling. I'm y'all saying should do the same. The five dollar. I mean, yeah, yeah, we 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 like the five dollar. We love the five dollar tier. We love the five dollar tier. But but you feel me? He knows what he's doing. We hey, must be doing some right. If the, he's upgrading. The people in the ten dollar tier. You see me in public, I will give you a hug, bro. Yeah, yeah. You not gonna give him a hug? <laughs> I give you a nap. <laughs> I ain't that friendly. <laughs> no. But like I said, subscribe to our Patreon. We got a lot of new content coming up. It's almost our three-year anniversary of the pod, bro. We've been doing this pod for three years, bro. Damn, bro. That's crazy. It's crazy work. That's, we made it this far, bro. <laughs> Yo, let me know if y'all want to see Jay in the podcast, bro. I'm I know. Uh, you know, three-year three year anniversary, Three-year anniversary. I want Jay, Jay to come in back podcast. in the podcast. Y'all, y'all remember Jay? Y'all remember? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, J- <laughs> Jay, Jay doing nails. So if y'all want her back, let us know in the comments. Yes, like, sir. comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Post notifications. If y'all new to the channel, do what I just said. And like I said, we got a lot of new stuff coming after our three year anniversary. There's a lot of new content dropping. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be called No Regulars TV. They don't know no about regular No Regulars TV. TV. I don't even know about No. Fritz don't even know about that. We are gonna explain yeah. to him later. Yes, sir. Like I said, but thank y'all again. Any last words, Fritz? We different. Dirt. Come on, bro. You got it. We different. They regular, no regulars. Gangsta. Yes, sir. Yeah.